Yeah, starting, starting with, with area. area. So this is uh, week four, um, biosteel filament. The metrics were area and sum four. So the sort of idea of this puzzle for area is that um, since there's so much space in between where the product is getting moved over, you can fit stuff in there. So for example, this animismus glyph kind of fits in there. Um, you can put bonders in there, uh, potentially even arms if you can swing it around. Um, so yeah, this puzzle was primarily designed for area, but I wanted to do another metric, so I chose sum four. I wanted to have another sum puzzle, but uh, does the four, does the four even matter? <laughs> um, maybe not. I I didn't want there to be six p solves, uh, which is why I chose uh -huh. sum four because I think six p with uh, yeah. polymer outputs is kind of um, jank. Yeah, janky. It's, I don't like it. it, 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 it... It's very common with polymer sum solves to be 6p, so I think it was the right call. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it still is a little bit of weird metric. I don't think anyone really... I, there was nobody who was telling me, oh man, I'm so happy with this sum 4 solution I found. Uh, no. So <laughs> <laughs> It's a little weird. I don't know. I kind of, um, in retrospect, maybe uh, rate sort of metric might have been better, like RI or something. No. <laughs> um, but, but we'll see. Okay, Catsman was happy with hers, so... Um. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna start off with area here. Let me find the first area solve or oh, yeah, 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 yeah. solve that I'm gonna show for area. Um, what are we starting with? Which is Svenja's solve at 140 area. 140. Okay. So we're gonna see a few uh what seem to be ah, height solves at the beginning solve. here. <laughs> um, <laughs> solve. So yeah. People are missing week two. Yeah, I mean, I guess since it's a polymer that has like a clear three height shape, um, mm -hmm. it's kind of a fun uh, way to say, oh, I don't really want to do area because it's a lot of work, so I'll just do height. Um, I must say it is a bit of a natural three area puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean three area puzzle? Yeah, yeah, three yes. height. Three height. Three height. <laughs> 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 And yeah, it's kind of interesting to get the materials through here. Uh... <clears throat> and Spoiled you can... my area count. It's three. <laughs> this is natural. Three. Just a you know trivial three area. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what puzzles are even three area? Oh yeah, uh, salt to salt. <laughs> True. My favorite puzzle. <laughs> but yeah, and this one, you can see the sort of uh, way that this puzzle works. I'm pretty sure uh, every solution is going to take this approach, which is um, calcify these two errors, uh, move them over the animismus, and then uh, use those with the fire and the three irons that are required to make the output. Uh, up next, we have 7T Storm. No longer wanting to win, but still made a solution nonetheless. Still uh, high, 111. Yeah. Thanks. I, I do appreciate the um, all the solutions. Yeah, just submitting is pretty great. Yeah. Especially with the... <laughs> You're still getting a decent score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way that the scoring works, um, yeah. submitting versus not submitting is always going to be a... Unless there's, you know, like... A million people submitting somehow, you're still gonna get uh, a lot more like points. Three than, points. Yeah, that's three points more than none. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Which this... like the difference between first place and good monomer okay. build two times three stick. Yeah, um, it's a cool way to break it down, and it does yeah. save. Uh, area, I guess, over the previous one pretty significantly, because it's not passing all these individual atoms through uh, in the same way. I mean, it is passing additional atoms I wonder atoms if it's through, faster. This is almost a height solve. I think it is a height solve. Oh, no, wait, it's not. No, it's got these... Uh, is it? It's ah. got some swings, so never mind. Maybe it's uh, <laughs> not following the rules as much as the last one. But yeah, thanks, uh, 7T Storm. That's four area that could have been saved. <laughs> Here we have one from Matter Monkey, another heightish solve. There's two height weeks. This isn't actually height, uh, Hutobi. It's just the <laughs> something that a bunch of people independently 
came up with, I guess. Decided, yeah, <laughs> we're doing hide today. <laughs> The metric was area, but we all uh, we all collectively agreed area was too hard, so we all just <laughs> just did height any solves anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, an arm might consume area on some non-IO swings. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like in the previous solution, that two-link swing uh, takes up these hexes of area on the outside, which if it were a height solve, um, would have increased its height, and in an area solve increases its area as well. And next up we have top of mouse at 104 area. 104. So this is much more of an area solve than a height solve. Yeah, um, it's because it's uh, not three height. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> it's building the pieces over here um, in these sort of four and then two shapes. Still just pushing the polymer though. Yeah, one plus three plus two build. And there's uh, some empty hexes here, which might suggest ways to improve the area, especially this the way that this swings all the way around. Um, uh. But the one nice thing about this is that it gets the calcification. Um, you can see oh. that it calcifies both of these in one swing, which is kind of a cool yeah. motif. It's an area conscious convenience solve. Mm -hmm. Actually, do we have height showcases this week? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably. I, I didn't look. I, I didn't actually open the showcases yet, so I'm. It's uh, gonna be a surprise. I know there's at least Maybe. one. I, I I did see a rate showcase in there uh, earlier this week, but I don't. I haven't looked at it in a bit. Next up is Vorgian. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. That's a lot of bonders. Yeah, so this there's a multi bonder here and uh, two single bonders. Oh yeah, and uh, we have this cool speed thing that uh, Mr. Puzzle cooked up, um, <laughs> which you can have a little control here that increases it. it as as part of his mode uh, is amazing. Yeah. Oh well, I'm not. Yeah, let me. So if you go all the It'll way up to elephant game. mode. It'll crash the game. <laughs> it's like that's like faster than you can do. That's way faster than Fucking you can do a speed elephant. hack. Because <laughs> yeah, speed hack. It's like it's still doing the delay. It's just like skipping it. But in elephant mode, I think it just removes the delay entirely. If I'm not mistaken. You can also uh, add that and speed hack, and I think it's faster. Hmm. Maybe. If there's no delay at all, it, I doubt speed hack would do anything. But. No, it's a hundred times speed. It doesn't entirely remove the delay. I see. I see. At least that's what the document says. It says it's a hundred times. That makes sense. Just here reading the manual. What the heck? <laughs> okay, reading next... the manual. <laughs> next up, we have dia diode. Um, I spent a lot of time this week searching for a min area layout, which I believe is about seventy-three. 68 area for the footprint of the output, an extra Ugh. one for the three-length input, and one for the accursed glyph then three to form the last bond. I kept shifting with gradually worse layouts that would get it closer to actually working. If this solve is still here, then I didn't finish programming my 80 area layout, though I'm confident it will work. At the very least, I'm not looking at the results until I finish. And yeah, Dia 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 did, 73 actually? did mention in the uh, Opus Magnum chat uh, that they were working on their solve last minute, so I guess this means they weren't able to finish it, so uh -huh. unfortunate, but... But yeah, this, I guess this 73. is 73. 73. That's like a scary some, number. Some sort of theory min, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is like a, a prototype solve, I guess. And you can see sort of uh, that there's this empty space. First person to drop a bold number in their notes. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how people... Because uh, yeah, with a puzzle like this where it's difficult... Um, uh, to find min, like, it, there's definitely, like, the min that you're pushing for, like, that you want to get towards, and then what uh, the solve actually is, so. I'm sort of a player to just go at it and mm -hmm. uh, see what I can get. 
Yeah, that's it's probably a good way to approach it because uh, it can be frustrating if you have something in mind and you can't find out how to actually get there. So next up we have Pizzazz at 94 area, first area. We haven't seen the uh, sparse infinite trickery yet. Yeah, yeah, so like the putting things in the middle here. Uh, these solves so far have mostly kept stuff on the left-hand side and then pushed it over. Mm -hmm. Lots of sticks. Uh-huh. I think it's a natural way to think, think about I, it. I, I never once sticks. considered the three stick. The three, yeah, I like, considered the, elbow the parts. Stick approach. Like, that looks like a good idea for some. Wish I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the bonder here and bonder here being like for this bond and this bond at the top and bottom, and then this one for making the sticks. People saying they're at practical min plus one. I wonder what's Makes them say that. Mm. Waste area at the end of the polymer. Oh yeah, that's another good yeah. thing to point out. So uh, the way polymers work is that the... You don't um, need to fill in the last you one. You don't need to fill in the other yeah, dot, 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 dot. dot. Um, at least you haven't had to that's, do that for a few years now. <laughs> but, that's too wasted. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you can build... If you're pushing it this way, you can only... you, you can If you build up just to this... I guess uh, more than two. Atom, five uh -huh. wasted. Yeah, five wasted. Or no, four, because this still takes up area. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that thing still takes up area yeah. regardless. Four. But yeah, if you just build up to this Mors Atom without these two extra, you can push over it and uh, save these four um, hexes of but area. But that requires uh, making exceptions. Yeah, or, or, or doing a different it... different build order. Yeah, a different build order that's not the two sticks. Like, the two sticks build order will naturally give you this, unless, yeah, you have some exceptional mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, next, we have a three area drop to... Plus, 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 lol. Well, four area when I have mattered. <laughs> <laughs> you submit her. Yeah. Or just somebody trolling with a wacky name. I, I, I oh, this one does the. I think I've I've seen this name somewhere before. Yeah, last week. Oh, they're building the whole polyp. The whole the whole monomer. Oh, that's cool. And then just bonding it here instead of doing the sticks. And yeah, see, this one is, uh, it's the moors at the end. That's a good rotate to attach the last monomer. Mm -hmm. This is a nice it's... looking area. This is a very, like, like a, it, it looks like it uses a nice, like, normal approach to mm -hmm. an area puzzle. <laughs> right, yeah. I guess, uh -huh. you want me to put it? Yeah, and it's kind yeah. of cycles optimized in some way because it has these two arms uh, that are handing things off to uh -huh. each other. Lots and lots of tracks and bonders, though. Uh huh. Yeah, there's like three different bonders here. Um, this one is kind of uh, a little bit in the area footprint, so maybe starting to see a little yeah. bit of that uh, that tech. Not part. exactly yet. Like half of it is in half the bonder is in the area footprint. Uh huh. Biggie reminding everyone to savor the normal looking area solve while we have it because they will very much <laughs> help the team. All right, next up we have another Too drop. Bad, uh, 88. Oh, I'm clone. Oh, not great, yeah. So the comment it's on this great, one is yeah. uh, this is not a good solve, but at least it's probably not last. It feels like there's some way to send pieces through the polymer and then assemble right next to the output and save a few area, but I didn't invest the time to figure it out. I only just noticed that we're starting with 40. For like uh, number 40? Yeah, that's like 10 less than usual. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, sort of a burnout week this week. <laughs> that well, 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 my well, um, well, From the submission list, there were 45 submitters, including uh, me. So yeah, I, I did think more people did some than area yeah and i skipped a few I mean, at the beginning that uh yeah um Paxton talked about a lot of last minute solves so mm -hmm. there were definitely <laughs> me <laughs> there's probably more than 45 there were definitely well, more definitely more than 45 there's you <laughs> uh -huh. yeah there were definitely more uh some solves uh just going by how many area solves i had to skip or wait no more area solves more area solves Interesting. I guess area has a clearer goal. Mm -hmm. Some is like, I have no idea what's minimum. Right. And it's like, I guess you can just let 
your area solve be whatever sum it is and be fine with that. Yeah. Uh, so now we have a tiny drop to Arkley Taxel at 87 area. Oh, hey, Arkley Taxel. <laughs> oh, bye, Biggie. I've seen a lot of the instruction solves, but not a, not a tournament one. Yeah, now he's free to actually do things <laughs> other than instructions. He's finally <laughs> done with the, all the journal instructions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I almost feel like pinging Rolamni, being like, it's finally done. Because <laughs> it is a genuine achievement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Props to them for finishing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good compact construction method. Um, as, yeah, as like a left hand only or mostly construction method, this seems very good. It's only Left using that is only uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, a well, that's a well placed diamond track. Yeah, and it's only it's using one arm and then the four track and then just a bonder debonder the glyphs you need um, and then an extra bonder that's kind of nestled in that uh, output shape. Um, it's got this moors in the right place so that it's not using any extra area. Um, so yeah. I think this looks like almost, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably just being premature here, but this looks almost as low as it's going to go for like a normal looking area solve. Mm -hmm. It's got, uh, like, you can reduce like two tracks. Yeah, probably. But um, yeah, I think we, yeah, we're starting to get to that point. <laughs> yeah, and it, so there's also the question of what is normal looking. Uh, normal like... looking is not having arms in the middle. Of the <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. All right, next up, uh, we have some more at 87. Um, this one by nice. Tiller. This one is building from reverse. This I is think also it's, four track. Yeah, the first one Ooh. we've seen to be doing this. Um, so this is an option. If you build from this side. Oh, yeah, build from the right. You get yeah. an extra area to play with. Right, there's this, there anyways. which is basically yeah, just like a place you can put things over. Um, but if you're doing this kind of sliding stuff, there's this extra, and I think it's actually unavoidable, this extra hex of area here. Um, next yeah. to the output, because uh, you have to move that's it That's the that drawback. Yeah. It kind of doesn't really save a hex, but it gives you a bigger construction space on yeah. the right-hand side, so mm -hmm. you can like be a bit more adventurous with your swings and glyph placements. Reverse build does not cost area. Uh, I mean, it... It doesn't save your area, but it doesn't cost any. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it does change the constraints you have slightly, I think, on like... Yeah, you get an extra area to of space to play around with yeah, on the right side. Yeah, spends it in a different spot. Because, yeah, this is just an empty area anyway. So it's like trading this area for this area. Uh, yeah, it depends on a lot of factors. <laughs> yeah, well, I was... In, in my experience, I was very unsure whether to commit to a reverse build order or a normal build order, like left to right or right to left, because... You just went reverse immediately, because I know that's a thing. Yeah, and it... Was it a good idea? What... No clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be interested to see what the, yeah, what the best solves end up committing to. Mm -hmm. It does, it, there, there are some, some things that you can mess with with that. We'll see. Yeah. Right. Next up, we got... We're in top 30. At uh, 86 area. <laughs> so yeah, this is a drop of one area. Um, well, we get uh, two piston arms, no tracks. Not sure. It's all... So yeah, this is able to... This is like the same amount of area taken up by arms and tracks, but one of the hexes is sort of more in the footprint than before, or in the path of the yeah. output, so... Right. No tracks feels very restricting. Yeah, especially when you're sliding, you have to be able to push it. I mean, I... This is almost a it's good layer to solve, very true. It's restricting, but, you know, this is area. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, this... <laughs> 
It's got three, 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 four, 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 three, three, three. You're counting layers. No track is surely impossible without swinging the stick. Uh, they're pistons. Yeah, they're pistons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can push them. Not my final solve, but one of my solves was trackless. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, wait, you, uh, there there may be some assumptions that uh. Oh, you have better. to push it back. I see. I see what Maraconda means. Yeah. All right. So also at eighty six A, but with uh, lower cycles. Nice. So at least one track. So you might as well uh, use it. Uh huh. Oh yeah, sorry, Tuler. Uh... I'll press P for this one, though. This one probably doesn't consume the last hit. Does it? I'm guessing the previous one just kind of didn't bother resetting. Yeah, which here. Which might have been I... why it was swinging wildly. You go back to it. Post solve. Oh yeah, elephant mode. <laughs> Remember to pause in time. Uh, yeah, it counts 86 right now, so I don't think it changes. Yeah. Yeah. It says okay. 86. No. Does it? Yeah. It stays at 86. So yeah, this one saves a, a small amount of cycles. Uh, this one, I guess, puts the is putting more of the logic inside of this footprint. I think this is probably the most we've seen nestled within the output so far. Um, Multiple bonders means you don't necessarily need to translate by a full monomer. It also means more area because yeah, multiple bonders. And yeah, I guess another thing to start paying attention to is access, like which um, glyphs the different arms are able to access. And with this solve, all of the hexes on all the glyphs are accessible. But for some so reason... We're talking about two piston solves. Hmm. Anime is tougher. Seems area. to be a bit of a, a bit of a pile up at 86. Yeah. I personally don't think that anime is that difficult for area. It's a two tracks or two arms. Mm -hmm. But it does make some restrictions on where you can put your yeah. arms to access it because you do have to be able to access it. One arm can. Access. One arm can access at most three. Mm -hmm. This geometry. It's not as geometry forcing as anime is in other metrics. Yeah. I feel. I guess what uh, made me think of the access thing is the fact that these um, the calcification happens when this thing is in a bonded pair. So uh, that's one mm -hmm. trick that you can do is bonding things together to use like a no axis uh, calcifier, which is maybe something to pay attention to as well. So now, oh, now we have a significant drop to eighty three area. Oh, it, yeah. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> oh, one three track. track. Yeah, so this is one arm on three and track. Some bonders within. Right. Um, Input within. Yeah, it's building it as this three and then three. Suppression tech. Yeah, and then using, yeah, yeah. So this, here we're seeing some input suppression. So that last bond can be made to make this monomer shape. Uh, with this three over the input. I'm seeing what I might have missed. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, very well, smooth input suppression yeah, just it, to do with that pivot there. It needs input suppression to do this. And putting the animismus glyph on this side is sort of uh, helpful for staying organized. Yeah, just keep it out of the way. Mm -hmm. That 
that suppressed input probably saves the three hexes right there on its own. <laughs> yeah. It's also like only a single arm on three track. Right. Oh, it's a thousand cycles. Oh boy. <laughs> right. This is uh Yeah, this uh speed thing is very useful. Thank you, Mr. Puzzle. <laughs> All right. Again at 83, um we have a playtest solved by Hexton. The Comment. Hexen didn't do this. <laughs> yeah, so, sparse area. I so, guess we have shadow cluster. <laughs> Hexen's but, uh, comment is: Let's see how many people bother to do the forbidden t technique of redacted. Redacted sparse infinite. <laughs> Whatever could he be talking about? Not a clue. <laughs> Suppressed input saves only one hex. Yeah, but when you get to the lower parts, one hex is a lot. <laughs> yeah, and it gives you more room for um, moving stuff around. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have uh, one area drop to Bambi. Everything Ooh. sucks is the name of the solve. And you Suppression can again. <laughs> that is a hell of a cycle count. <laughs> yeah, 1654. You can see it chugging a little bit. 1654 is considered a hell of a cycle count. Whoa. Well, oh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doing a lot of well, manipulation I mean, here. Let's slow it down a bit. So yeah, we're making these bonded pairs to suppress. And then, yeah, there's a lot of juggling and suppression on this one so that this input can be used as a uh, storage area for intermediate stuff. I guess I'm comparing cycle counts to what Biggie said mm. about like, oh, I had a 2,000 cycle solve. <laughs> oh, Film Crystal was 5,000 cycles. <laughs> But yeah, this is doing the two groups of three thing, kind of similar to the uh, earlier solve we saw. Um, but. Oh. Axon is a permanent suppression catalyst, the two iron. Yeah, it does seem to be is a this, permanent. Is this 6P? It, it probably is, yeah. Does it actually use that thing in the end instead of grabbing more inputs? The fact that the. Frame rate is so bad for me is uh tells me that it's six P. Yeah. It probably actually uses that two iron in the end then. Never mind, it doesn't. No, it just does this. And then and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, cool stuff. Um The six P could always have just been to save a couple cycles. Yeah. yeah. And it actually so now we have a drop of, is this seven cycles? Oh, seven oh, cycles. From Nova. Thank God. <laughs> I thought you were going to say area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a lot of suppression. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Good animismus position, though. These 82 area solves seem to... The key to 82 versus 83 is, I guess, this um, suppression. Glyphs inside. It's suppression and glyphs inside polymer. Yeah. Oh, it's got some conditional logic for this, too, somehow. Oh, so it's not 6P. And yeah, this one is even suppressing the single atom input, which you can only do with two arms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, as to pointed out, uh, Nova said that they weren't going to be spending as much time on this week, so. Oh, this is Nova. Oh. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I don't think the I mean the trick that we'll probably see later with the sparse infinite is not one that you can really study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not something that actually has appeared often. I've only yeah. seen Shadow Cluster talk about it a lot because uh, yeah. it was like, "Hey, can we have a sparse infinite?" Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was I was planning to do a sparse infinite like this uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. I'll say this: the shadow cluster actually ended up having more input on the uh, other area puzzle, but the other area. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this uh, suppression tech is definitely um, impressive. I think I might know what other area puzzle is. 
I'm I'm just impressed that this was seven cycles quicker. Like we're at sixteen hundred. That is that is a pretty bad beat. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's like it's not even the same layout. It's a very different. It's layout. not even. Yeah. It's not even six P. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, you never mentioning chat. They made this a couple of hours ago. Mm. Uh, I see. I wonder if they know the probably at play sparse infinite tech. All right. Well, we got a big cycles drop here to Andrej K. Thank God it's still cycles drops. <laughs> and we got a reverse building. Ooh. Uh, That's a lot of pistons. Yeah, we Damn. got three arms. Four, even. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, some input suppression on this one, too. Very little. There's, a, yeah, a lot of glyph space is being used up by the uh, actual movement of the polymer anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can get away with four pistons and yeah this one is doing the uh animismus and output thing which was kind of like what i was yeah. going for <laughs> with this shape it's like animismus fits there how well did, how much did people use that approaching the end uh, we'll see Middle building? Hmm. Middle, Middle building. Middle building. <laughs> That's something I thought of, but I uh, was like, nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mostly because of the two edge cases. Mm -hmm. Like the two extra area on the side that you could avoid with side building. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, this one's looping too, which is nice. I, I think it is at least. Oh, it's loops. Yeah. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Uh, another secondary drop to 42 Genius 42. This one's got a note. Not sure how to go even lower on area, but I managed to cut instructions and therefore cycles by over 130 since settling on this layout. I had to create all on one tape. Uh, middle four monomers made the same. First monomer five and last monomer seven. Could not easily make it 449 is real fast. <laughs> uh, is so crash is not long far. after completing. And yeah, this one manages to get away with no input suppression, it seems. Yeah. By keeping this part clear nice. here. Very nice 82 area solve, mm -hmm. honestly. I'm surprised not much more people attempted Sparse Infinites. Well, I mean, this is... I mean, I guess we're still in 23rd. But, uh... <laughs> this is taking advantage of the Sparse Infinite, right? Because it has a, yeah, a but, like, calcifier here. Not, uh... Uh, Not the cursed parts of Sparse Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Five pivots in a row, yeah. Ooh. Five pivots in a row. This is right. pivots of the week? <laughs> mm, it is, we need some good pivots this way. I'm going to hold off. We've got our first it's candidate. It's a candidate though, for pivot of the week. Uh -huh. Yep. Next Should up, 82. 82, yeah. Oh, this looks very similar. Yeah, going from the other side. A lot of animus misfits. Yeah. I think the more common theme around 82 is an input suppression and more so animus misfitting. Yeah. I guess this one also does input suppressing, but you know. Uh huh. But it does it in a fast way. Mm hmm. Which metric would get pivot of the week? Summon some area four. are like yeah. summon area are like the two best pivot metrics. Mm. Yeah. Watch this one crash. <laughs> there we go. Arm waving. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so still on 82. Still on 82. Swag strats equals speed hope. strats. So here's an interesting solve. Uh, Oi, okay. <laughs> so uh, previous okay, solves but, uh... have had like, you know, two, three, four, maybe five arms. This one has 11 arms. Um, 
You can fish the top four, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, we're starting to see some this some cursedness here. And it looks really cool when it goes through the conveyor belt of yeah. death. <laughs> and people talking about trackless. Uh, this solve is trackless. So this solve is trackless. <laughs> Solve these <laughs> So yeah, let's oh, see. Oh, it more than just exists, our field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one's passing groups of three through, um, mm -hmm. and then bonding them. Wait, how many here, cycles? Here, is two eighty one. Yeah, here. this is definitely going to go <laughs> way faster. <laughs> that is uh, that is really fast. So yeah, it just makes the things, and then it doesn't I mean, have to worry about yeah, bonding the not. units together because all these arms in the middle can do it. Uh, Two arms are fast. Imagine 11 arms. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's going to be faster. <laughs> Even though limiting factor is very much the right side. Mm -hmm. Catsman has picked up a lot of uh, sparse infinite and infinite area tricks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so there's a pretty big uh, note for this. I'll kind of go over it. Uh, not read the whole thing, but uh, when deciding to implement the solution, I compared it against a simple construction of sliding complete monomers horizontally across the output cliff. Bonders fill the space where the polymer's last movement would be, and pistons fill the gaps where the earlier movements would be. Giving animismus access to one of those pistons lets me only use one hex outside of the simple construction area for anime access. Um, yeah, that's important. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a steady state down to a 43 cycle period with a longer special case um, by using so many different arms. There's a swanky movement of the atoms in the special case that I sh thought shaved a cycle, but was actually just as fast. Uh, if someone can find the special sauce to move both bends across the output glyph without using all of the spaces where the pistons are, I'll be really impressed. I was able to do it's it possible. with either the Vitae bend or the Moore's bend, but not both in the same solution, and attempts to shave gold by using less pistons but the same area were futile or forced the period to be longer. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's a very good idea. This is very close to top 20. Yeah, and it's the fastest 82. Pentapix because... said he didn't see this. <laughs> oh no. So now we're back to uh, normal uncursed solves. We're back to normal <laughs> for now. Yeah. Uh... Did save a hex though. So the note is the build feels too unconstrained for this primary to be good. I can't imagine two separate arms pushing the chain, nor a dipper build sequence with one bonder, so I'm ready to be surprised. There's likely a few R lying around by swapping actions, and 6P saves 54 to 56 cycles. This is probably slower than two arm variants with iron suppression, so I'd better type some notes instead, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually putting the input <clears throat> in the output footprint, which I'm not sure we've seen yet. Maybe we have. Mm, not that much inside it. Yeah. There's that one solve, I can't remember who, whose name. It, uh, maybe Bambi's? Mm hmm. Well, someone had that had the input suppression like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also curious how well my actually my 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 solve is my first solve. <laughs> There's some sort of conditional going on with this uh, iron, I guess, because it's using it to suppress the input here, and then it's sort of uh, recycling it basically by having a a grab left over at the end. Like, yeah, see, it grabs here, so then it doesn't grab there. And optimal stick input suppression. Yeah, yeah two, yeah, yeah, because you yeah. have to have something on it to two suppress it. Two hexes that are used, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, definitely cool input suppression on this, and uh, only two bonders, which is cool. What um what qualifies as a first solve? Because I had a few solves like before I actually got to the probably your like or, first like, concept like, that panned out. Yeah, like I programmed half of it and was like, yeah, this will work, and then just stopped programming it because I thought I could do better. Like, does that count as a first solve or not? I wouldn't because you don't know the full metrics. All right, so continuing at 81 area from username void. Seems simple enough, but I don't see any viable primary improvements. 
<laughs> he didn't. He he has already mentioned in chat. He's like opened up Opus Magnum and gone back, and he's he's cut four hexes off this solve. Oh, just uh, since seeing Casman solve. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think did he open Opus or just in theory four hexes? Is in the chat. He says I've found what should be a my area minus four layout. Now I realize the trick. Mm. Uh huh. Oh, oh, before that, I see. <laughs> oh, that's that's sad. Oof. Hey, chump change boy. Madden Master has a different name everywhere. It's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one, yeah, two bonders, one debonder, uh, two arms with one thing of track. It does seem like a very clean, clean area solve. Next up, uh, Morikanda. How much? This one has th three arms. Uh, what's the drop you mean? Oh yeah. Oh, three fifty-seven. That's yeah. also fast. Yeah, it's got three arms, so it's able to do things a little faster. Oh, nice. And the last one kind of wasted this hex of area, and this one puts the calcifier oh. there. Yeah. Uh, so the note is, the 1P version is better IMO, but it's AC. It feels like you could do this with two arms or one arm plus three track instead of three arms, but access points are hard. Hence me saying, min plus one, I believe two bonders are necessary. Uh, waiting to see what wizardry Shadow Cluster has made to reveal this is actually min plus four or something. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm honestly surprised not as many people found uh, what I found. <laughs> Which is what cats can found. <laughs> Alright, next up. Better. We have Pentapig. That are dropped to oh. 80 area. Uh, Pentapig's first non top 10. Yeah. I like that his first blemish of the tournament. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this one does drop to 80 area. Um, by putting a bunch of stuff Ooh, inside Oh, it is the... 80 area. Yeah. Nice. Spiritual Shampoo is celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Spiritual Shampoo is like stonk. <laughs> Them and Caliuresis are the runner-ups. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, this bonder is uh, half-axis, I guess, but it's used to bond things onto the product so it doesn't really matter yeah it builds this entire shape and then bonds it using this bonder and yeah only one thing of track and all this stuff in the output shape including the input being suppressed here uh, helps this get to 80 area there's some cool uh, molecule shuffling that happens here yeah oh. that like last uh manipulation as it's building the yeah. monomer it's very neat it's uh very good at its level i'm curious if there are any better that doesn't use the cat spin trick which is what i'm calling it for now mm -hmm. <laughs> well next up we have a drop of one more area 79 oh, oh this still isn't the yeah like Cavalaren. Oh. Oh, Cavalaren. So yeah, this one is interesting. It like has the animismus in the shape. It has an arm sort of docking into the shape in certain places. Also into the shape. It's uh, a half a unbonder inside it. Yeah. So like this, I guess the issues with animismus I access. I think it's a half the unbonder. This like extra place where it can peek in solves the animismus access problem or yeah access problem um while having it inside the product it's such a long distance away oh yeah and yeah it also uses or doesn't use this x here i'm surprised pentapig missed min without uh 
sparse polymer tech though. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, solution space here, like a lot of different possibilities to try. So there is I'm a not, lot. I'm not surprised um, that it'd be hard to find necessarily. Like this one in particular, it seems like there's a lot of tricky stuff going on. Yeah. Who was the first one to build it from inside? Uh, Shadow Cluster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you mean in the, the first one to, in the in the, the placement order for Catspin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catspin was the first, but with four more pistons than necessary, five more pistons than necessary. Because mm -hmm, the I would say it was. Yeah, we'll see why. That's Shadow Quest gets to look at the puzzle ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is and a bit I'm unfair. I'm very much sure he noticed immediately. <laughs> uh, next up, John this John also at seventy nine. Oh. Suppression, uh, hell, holy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, this is also ducking into the shape to get access to the Anismus. Yeah. Um, there's a note, this feels like the limit of what I can achieve. I would be amazed to see a 78 area solved and absolutely shocked to see anything below 78. <laughs> yeah, I mean, without the uh, secret Here's sauce. Void, said min minus four. <laughs> that would be 77. <laughs> But yeah, this is very like this is combining a lot of the tricks together here with the um, input suppression, the animismus, and the output. Um, putting these bonders here, it's only using two bonders. It has this calcifier here. Um, I can see why uh, this definitely feels like a good solve. All right, next up, also at seventy nine. Sorry, what? Uh, go ahead. Double batch plus eight. Oh, is I was gonna a... mention the scary looking um single atom regent spot because those are always a lot nastier to suppress than a multiple atom regent. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you yeah. have to put like the onion regent yeah. like in the middle, that's but they don't so, have like, to suppress like, that scary. one. It's not required to suppress that input. No, there was in fact, I it's think impossible it was... to. So I was yeah. gonna mention it during Nova's solve. Um uh, oh, the... because it, that's where it actually did come up a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, here the, it's suppressing here. It's even iron as well. It's like the film, film crystal tech. Mm -hmm. There you go. It does, in fact, get suppressed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it does. With another stick. Right. That could work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it can pass. By. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. so I yeah. see. Next up, Winter Ray. <laughs> Ooh. One shot area solve. I suspect this is min plus two. Also, I feel that same area with better secondary could be achieved using three arms. Um, I'd say I was an area main years ago. Not I'm now. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the puzzle is good. Should I thank Shadow for Cluster for that? No, thank me for the theory. It's interesting. <laughs> By hell, well, you can fit all the glyphs, arms, and inputs inside the height three zone, and uh, layouts are compared by the number of excess hex out of the area. Uh, last bond and the left results in smallest zone. I spent. Four hex on two arms to access everything and slide. I think mm. I see what they mean by the plus two. Yeah, it's those two on the, on the, on the, the very the, left. Yeah. The on oh the yeah, yeah, left. these. Because you like, need to slide it. Being able to save those two. Yeah, so. arm needs horizontal tracks with which requires two excess hexes. The Vitae Mors oh glyph needs one. Debodder needs one. Three atom input needs one. Iron input needs one. So yeah. Being able to save those two plus the few that you could probably also save within the thing itself. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this one. Is this, is this suppressing both or just. Yeah, it suppresses both. So that it has more room uh -huh. to put these intermediates. Right, to get the fire and vitae over to the yeah. um left hand side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since it has to pass it over the top. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. extra space. Because that's its only real avenue to get atoms over to the left. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. At least right. both pistons are there. <laughs> it's like it's not hard yeah. to access. <laughs> <laughs> it's like height yeah. height tech kind of that weird passing yeah. through. Basic yeah, it kinda is. Yeah. Okay, so now we Definitely have an area drop. To 77. There no it is. 78s. No 78s. Holy shit. Never seen a 78. No 78s. Never will. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, here it is. Uh, 
what you've all there been waiting is. for. So, <laughs> yeah, you can see there's these bonded pairs of two. Um, that's what Ooh, lets what you pass through doing? without taking up these extra hexes of area. What are the air atoms? Oh yeah, doing? so what what might these air atoms be doing? So there's a hex uh, here. That's uh, <laughs> where the calcifier is. That's a disgusting spot for the calcifier. <laughs> so yeah, they all these pairs yes. of air atoms have to go that's back and forth attack. while these fire atoms are stored here. This is a very oh high God, high effort seventy seven. The amount of storage you have to do. <laughs> But this is 590, it's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, I guess 590 is the slowest 77, yeah. And yeah, you can see here how all these God. bonds get made. 590 um, is the slowest 77. There goes top <laughs> 10 hope, I think. <laughs> and Biggie was talking about, like, uh... It definitely goes lower than 77 then. But yeah, I guess we can watch this. Uh, let's see, it's at 590. I literally had that 500 mile song stuck in my head yesterday. <laughs> so now it's stuck in my head again. Nobody went for a tracked uh, this method, but with track. Everybody immediately spotted the track save. I. Also, I, I think I very briefly considered putting a calcifier over on the other end or something, but then I just like immediately dismissed the idea as too much of a pain in the ass, and will it even be possible? Same here, <laughs> but uh, I think 76 would be possible if you do that. Mm -hmm. At least with my layout. But yeah, Pat, yeah, as Katzman says, yeah, passing sets of two instead of three and bonding them out... Uh... On location. Yeah, that's the, is the, that's the thing Katzman the missed. Yeah. Sending them in smaller parts than just three. Yeah. That's pretty much the final K once you think about pistons on the inside. Interesting. This one has track. Yeah, so no weird salt tech here. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we have a track here. How many arms is it? Uh, six arms. Looks like six. Also, Six arms. Yeah, a very small number of arms. Twitch needs the Azuri Paw emote. Maybe I'll add it to like a FFZ or something. <laughs> oh, what's. Yeah, it's making some intermediates here. Pretty messy intermediates that don't just bond together. Yeah. And lots of iron passing for the very last part. Yeah, the fact that the iron input is all the way over here is uh, makes things kind of awkward for these last inputs. I feel like I'm definitely next. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Amazing. does it loop? It better loop. Um, it probably <laughs> loops, eh? Yeah, well, it kind of does. It'll probably go... I mean, it can't just connect it to the end at the very end. Maybe it does fully loop. Let's see. It does! Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> nice work. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, rational guy. <laughs> very much so. Okay, uh, it's not... <laughs> it's lagging. All right. Yeah. Next up. Hope I'm not missing anything. I am uh, missing OMG something. It's, it's the calcifier at that end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one off top 10 bist. I know. Still good. It's Top 10 is just a number. The score isn't that much of a difference. But yeah, this... <laughs> you are absolutely right, bist. That is a great way to think about it. <laughs> this calcifier is very indirect. It has to be made into yeah. this, like... <laughs> Bent shape here to get to. Yeah, that is a painful calcifier. It's not that bad. It's not Mr. Puzzle's calcifier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. yeah. Which I am sure we will see again. <laughs> because if I used that on this solve, this would be a 76. 
mm-hmm. I didn't think to like pass them back and leave them on the polymer though. I thought they all have to be on the right side when it, like they were passed back. Mm-hmm. But uh, leaving them on the polymer because it's space unused yet is uh, something I didn't think of and uh, that I should have think of, thought of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it had to be possible because Shadow Cluster was excited. <laughs> Boy, with Cluster. But uh, <laughs> I was doing this last day, so yeah, I had some for to matter and to care about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, this it's not doing any input suppression, right? It's not. Yeah. Input suppression no, can also save area. Mm-hmm. And the animismus is uh, here too, so. Yeah, all it does is a. Uh, it was a seventy-eight that had a track uh, that had arm one on a track. Uh-huh. All it does is uh, all I really saved was uh, reducing the track, I see. and that turned it into a seventy-seven. Yeah, and sense. since it's two arms ac- accessing animismus, it's not that slow. Uh-huh. So it does all right. All right so we... I'm prepared to see the seventy-sixes. <laughs> oh, two seventy-eight cycles! Holy shit! Yeah, this one's by <laughs> Cuckoo fifty-two. Cycle drop. I was right to not spend time optimizing cycles because no way I'm saving all the way to 278. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So yeah, I guess this is just pretty efficient about getting stuff. It's the definitely the calcifier is the thing that makes this more efficient. So you can just yeah calcify calcify. I didn't find a layout that could just uh access it like that. Uh-huh. I also started from the other side, so that's probably the difference, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, because it's there's not that oh, well. uh, dot 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 just hanging out in here. In the way, yeah. yeah. It does it loop. It does. It does the same thing a rational guy did. Nice. But yeah, and there's this is also trackless. So... I figured cool. this would be the most efficient debonding method, but I couldn't get it to work. Mm-hmm. Mostly because uh, if I had more time, I probably could have. Yeah. Well, and the, That's yeah, on me, though. It seems like left to right is better here because you don't have that extra hex just getting in your way. Yeah, fair. Access points is more important than extra space to use because, honestly, we don't have large parts. Mm. Should have thought of that. <laughs> All right, next up. The uh, drill bit. We're still 77. Yeah, still 77. For your consideration, cycle 230 for Pivot of the Week. Cycle, cycle 230. 230. All right. Keep it, we're keeping it in mind then. Yeah. Oh, iron. I see iron just being left there. That's got to speed things up. This is really nice. I like how it bonds a two atom molecule before it hands off, so it has to do less handoffs. Mm-hmm. This arm too yeah. is very efficient. It's not passing all just. I mean, most of them hand off like two atom molecules and not just single ones. I yeah. like how all of them pivot at the very end. Yeah, so cycle 230. Ooh! That was... Here, let's... All right. <laughs> As I said, there'll yeah, be a lot of good thing, pivots this week. So... All the pivots at once. <laughs> there's a lot of good pivots this week, so it's... I'm, I'm going to have to wait, wait, think wait. back on Scroll this. over, scroll over, scroll over. Yeah, I want to see all of them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. All right, so that was the last 77. There we are. And yeah, we're in top 10 oh, as well. So There's not much difference even. Congrats to uh, without our... Goodbye Galaxy and Cuckoo52. And yeah, so this is day one solve with a little bit of secondary optimization. It's making a triangle. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it does have that uh, no-axis calcifier, so... Uh, it's barely no-axis, though. You can access with two atoms. Right. Or three in this case. It passes or all the iron first. Even four. What well, makes this 76 and not 77 compared to the previous solves? What's on the right? Uh, Curtelli. <laughs> it's six arms. I... It's probably something having to do with the last, like the it's suppressing this uh, or something. One fewer arm. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, mine also had six arms, but uh, it's using this arm too to access dot, dot, dot. The, this and yeah, use one fewer arm. 
I blame the dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speed it up a bit and see how the last input sound is here. Yeah, so this gets suppressed. Yeah, so I think it's just, yeah, Ooh. the one less arm being able to slide over with suppression there. So yeah, nice uh, 76. That is, I think, the only 76, because next up... Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes to 75. Guess who? Suppression, I assume. Oh. Animispus inside, yeah. That's going to include a very large final monomer, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does some very interesting suppression stuff. Next. This one is very clear where the saving is, the Animismus. Right. The reason I didn't consider it is because of the large final monomer. Is this is this six arms, or is there a seven? Seven. Seven. A seven. Seven, but they're all trackless. So, right. So he's gone half excess day bonder here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is very fancy. Oh wait, this is shadow cluster. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Shadow Cluster likes his half axis debonders. <laughs> oh, wait, was that a no axis one in Film Crystal? Is this wanding? I guess maybe you could say it's wanding. It's making and breaking a different piece, though, so I, I'm not sure you'd call it wanding. Oh, yeah, and then there's this all this suppression stuff going on here where it oh. moves this over and suppresses the single atom input. Yeah. Seems the thing I missed is animismus in input. Not in input, in output. Oh well. <laughs> and here's another suppression thing going on here. Spin around with the C shape. Yeah, it gets really Bond dicey here. at the, um... Yeah, that's why I didn't consider this. <laughs> like right, because this... it's missing a bonder pretty much. Yeah, this this is some so real it's... shadow cluster stuff going on here. Yeah, I'm curious <laughs> how people do better. Together. And then, last slide. Do they yeah, all yeah. pull at the same time? No. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this uh, 75 with Shadow Cluster. And the fact that Shadow Cluster is number 8 is a testament to how much people have been yeah, working hard and improving. And Zorflax. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Does Shadow Cluster have min primary even? So next up is Hello Jasper uh, with a Cycles drop. Min area looping version. And uh, interesting debonder placement. Huh. Yeah, so it's... This one's also, also missing a bonder. That seems to be the theme. Mm -hmm. And this one has animismus outside the, the area. Yeah, 75... The theme with 75 seems to be missing the bonder. Mm -hmm. That is the theme of 75, absolutely. And this one uses a track instead of uh, two pistons mm -hmm. to get the animus. Yeah, interesting access. decision. Nothing is no for the extra pistons. Only the calcifier, zero axis, yeah. And it's in a convenient place, even though it is zero axis. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the suppression for this one is way less intense than the last one on this final yeah. output. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a pretty smooth. Oh, <laughs> no, does it, so what is it, it doing? sending it? 
Bye bye. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> it is <laughs> This is the looping version, so. Oh, that's what he means by looping version. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see the last bond again? Sure. People are mentioning that it's slick. Like, I'm amazed y'all are able to build the final section. But yeah, and this, uh... That pivot there is <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty tight on oh, the area. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. There yeah. we go. There, and then that one. This that has space. to come up as well. And then this moves over. That's the face that does it. Here. To both at once. And the rest of it is trivial. Uh -huh. Ish. <laughs> the large monomer is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, then we can bond this one and push it down and then do Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You do need to like prepare for that last bond though. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, that's this the, is what that's you the thing. That, that's why there's an arm on a track and not two trackless arms on the left because of uh -huh. that last one. You need to, you, you need that hex free you need when swing you space. have to build like a, yeah, a four atom molecule mm -hmm. to then push, for, to, to then, yeah, move into place. Mm -hmm. And it's probably not going to be much like slow. I mean, it's obviously faster than Shadow Clusters because we're here, but, uh, <laughs> It's not going to be much slower because you have arm two just sitting there. That's necessary almost. Mm -hmm. So having an extra arm helping things out isn't going to increase things that substantially compared to having yeah. easier space to swing around. All right, next up. Zorflex. This is uh, Vicky, <laughs> I assume. No, oh, this is Zorflax. No, yeah, okay. Small pasty, 75. Yeah. You also, yeah, you also have the missing bonder. So yeah, note is that stupid half-access bonder cost me three days of programming and a decent sum solve. I tried and tried to find a 75 area layout that gave me full access, but I just never found one. This is after having spent an eight-hour session just staring at a green hex grid hunting for layouts. I'm not seeing a way under oh. 75, but I just have a bad gut feeling that there's something I'm missing. I'm predicting that Shadow Cluster has beaten me on primary somehow. If he has, then he's allowed to have his area crown back. He hasn't. <laughs> Spiritual shampoo is saying Biggie area main moment. <laughs> yeah, we have not seen Biggie yet. <laughs> All right, so the part where this gets really painful is coming up because that half access bonder is going to start becoming a huge problem very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last monomer moment. <laughs> Second to last monomer moment. Because I basically have to build like. I have to build like two atom sticks, but I have to build like four of them mm -hmm. before I can actually think about the last um, buns. <laughs> and I have to do it in a way that suppresses the input too, so... Mm -hmm. I never cycle optimized this, so I'm honestly just pleasantly surprised I'm not the slowest 75. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of it because just comes down to what layout like you found. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like every layout has its own kind of jank. Like Shadow Clusters had some like extreme suppression jank going on. Um, yeah, then... all the seventy five are just jank. Yeah, at least yeah, the yeah. ones we've and... seen so far. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So the bonds themselves were fine because I just yeah, those are the things that I like spent so long staring at trying to calculate. But yeah, it's just making those. It's 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 getting that half axis bonder to make sticks and molecules indirectly that mm -hmm. was really mentally taxing. Um, it definitely stopped me from cycle optimizing this. I think there are quite a few cycles I could have saved if I had the yeah. time or or patience for it. What I kind of find underrated is the inputs and the suppression you do with it. Yeah, like I do the like input. the input suppression. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, that it's iron a just very nice place the for the input because iron on the top on the very left and like gives you the two space to push into. 
Mm-hmm. I'll go out and throw a guess and say that there'd be like a hundred cycles to save here. Hmm. You know, looking at the track on your arm two is on, and like knowing how input the arm one could probably access that, there might be a seventy four. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. There maybe. might be a 74, but it's going to be a hell of a 74. It's going to be a hell of a 74, all right. All right, next up at number five, we have Biggie Mac. Oh, oh you can off. off. Infernal shuffling. <laughs> how many cycles? How many cycles difference was it? Um, Like 78? Yeah. That's a with it. That's reachable. <laughs> if we, if you did some cycles improvements, it's reachable but not easily reachable. So it's actually uh, not clear whether it would have mattered. So the note is my two arms on track. Oh my god, this has one less bonder. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't have a bonder over here at all. It doesn't have a bonder on the right, <laughs> not on the right, the left. Oh no, <laughs> no wonder <laughs> this. Said this was pain. <laughs> this does make me think seventy four is possible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the note is my first design had a single bonder and looked like it would be 82, but I didn't program it to completion. Then I placed two bonders, trying to tuck things into the left three gaps, and got an 81. Better layout got that idea to 80. More and more and more and more and, more <laughs> and I started secondary <laughs> optimizing. On the final night, I noticed the trick and made a layout with 11 bonders. Convinced myself it was possible to get 78, then iterated layouts and actually completed a 77, and went to sleep wondering how I would reduce the number of bonders. The answer was packing things together denser than the actual polymer to allow the final segment to be built further to the right. So this yeah. gets away with only nine mm. bonders. I would have guessed 79 was the limit oh. before finding the trick. Oh, he built the right... Oh, oh, that's clever. Yeah, I was seeing how everything was bonded to the right and like... Check the right. Check the right while we run this the second time around. Yeah, I want to see that last bit. That last bit was really interesting. The fact that he uses like packing like pre-made three bits mm. and then like pushes it right mm -hmm. oh yeah so oh, that's clever uh his his last seven says i would have guessed 79 was the limit before finding the trick now i think it's 74 yeah yeah actually yeah, it's like 74 that, is likely that equilibrium glyph why does it get used sliding over the last polymer the last polymer doesn't need to slide over it though I, I don't have zoom like, tools in theory. Galaxy, sorry. Because <laughs> of this speed thing, it's not doesn't work well with it. We need to check yeah, we need to check that equilibrium and like when it's ever used because that's probably something Biggie has to explain. Wait, how do you is there a uh... Yeah, because he has to slide the big thing over, right? Yeah. Wait, is, is Mr. Puzzle in chat? Is there a way? Yeah, he has to slide the big thing over. Oh, oh okay. Oh, That's yeah, here we go. Yeah, there's yeah. no bonder on the left. Yeah. Right, so that does have to slide. Okay. Yeah, but it's a, it's a 75, but I can see how he thinks 74 is possible. Where is his calcifier, actually? Calcifier is on the left. Oh! It's not that difficult to... It's full axis. So... Oh, actually, no. And it's actually just... very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I was thinking. Fast. My first thought was calcifier on the equilibrium, but is that even possible? Because yeah, that space needs to be used. Yeah, but uh, because yeah, if it's... space does need to be used. Yeah, Never mind. aren't six being under animismus though, without track? That seems likely. Yeah, it's it's so cool how this stuff is stored here. And... I find it funny how the animismus almost glows because it's under where the shadow of the instruction of the parch tray should be. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost never get rid of the parts tray, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not yeah, used not to that zoom lighting, anyways. <laughs> this is a. Solve. Yeah, very cool. And very All four people solve. beat it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> All right, next up we have Caluresis with a mild cycle stroke. Mundane men. 
<laughs> mundane. Mundane. I was aiming it for did not feel- 76 area, but realized I could remove an arm. I think this is min without wizardry, but might be missing something obvious. Check area and Crotelli after it crashes. Okay. Oh, Crotelli. That's a weird spot for Crotelli. <laughs> Yeah, this has full access everything, which probably helps it oh, nice. do better at cycles. <laughs> helps with cycles, yeah. Yeah, yeah I never considered, because I only ever got rid of one bond, I never considered getting rid of two bonders. Mm-hmm. That is a very, the... that's a key insight to making 75 yeah. not extremely painful. Yeah, there's a hex here too used because of how it has to push things over. Mm-hmm. That could be a calcifier. <laughs> Mm. Mm. None mm. of cast fire space has to be used anyways. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> but yeah, this trick of being able to build a whole monomer and then just put it over here is uh, yeah. super powerful. I, I, I'm starting to wonder if we're getting a primary win today. Seems very likely. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that part, it, it like swings the whole thing and the whole thing it doesn't cover the Critelli. Mm. It seems that it's, uh, wait, hold on. What? Oh, it, it does actually pivot it, okay. It like it calculates the pivot and the area used before it's oh, it like, calculates oh, the pivot but it crashes yeah but it still calculates yeah. the area <laughs> i see yeah yeah, yeah it calculates the Junk. area before it actually checks for occlusion i think mm-hmm. that makes sense uh, that makes sense all right so now at number three we have new achar Ooh. Ushar, the area middle construction <laughs> yeah so here middle we construction <laughs> here we have it the middle construction <laughs> Oh, and the calcifiers all the way over there, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got this calcifier trick. It's got middle construction. New HR with the creative area tech. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to see uh, middle construction being used. It's not just middle a construction. <laughs> never considered it even once. That's <laughs> considered it for cycle not... shapes because you don't have to go too away. You don't have to like. Sp- Push it that far one way. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah, for a say 40 cycles over the last one. Yeah. It's for cy- yeah. It works for cycle shaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I didn't bother. And I guess it kind of and, lets uh, you use these arms that would be nestled in there to get more access yeah. to stuff. So it's a good idea in theory, but it, uh, getting it working in practice is just impressive. It's kind of packing as well. To, to a, not yeah, as much as Biggie, same, but it's it kind of packing. the same thing Biggie does. It does the packing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's just leftover iron, like, yeah. laid out in places. <laughs> for the suppression. There's, Arm 4 has one extra iron just sitting yeah, there. Yeah, you can see it colliding here. <laughs> <laughs> to watch it go fast. I assume the extra iron is because of suppression, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. But yeah, very cool stuff by Nuachar. Now, number two. 74? Rebix. No. 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 420. 420G. <laughs> some assembly required. Uh, so this one has a note. Not metal construction. When I first started this week, I knew that this was the sparse infinite shadow cluster had always teased and quickly made a 77 area layout I knew could be programmed to completion. 77 I- is a... Tr- yeah. I expect most people familiar with the idea of sparse infinites to have this number, or maybe 76 area if they manage to find some lucky geometry. To get the 75 area, though, the key lies in emitting one of the product bonders and building that segment with a nearby bonder instead. Mm-hmm. From there, it's just a matter of placing yeah. necessary glyphs into forced area, and this 75 area was born. I imagine 74 area is the theory minimum, but could not find a working layout. The debonder and animismus restrict the space too much. The iron suppression here was the savior for that debonder placement since there was no other way to get the input there uh, within the area. As far as cycle secondary goes, I didn't really search too deep. Clean programming was about all that I did in that aspect. Also, high shadow cluster. How many arms is this? No track. Uh, seven. Seven, I see. This is the full. This is the full access layout that I dreamed about but never found. 
Re Rebix has done a very good job to find it. I think the reason I missed it was because I never considered a piston like piston three. Mm -hmm. Like way off to the left like that. I just assumed that wouldn't be too helpful, but it's crucial for the bonder. Uh -huh. I mean the debonder. Um yeah. and one it's... and two cover everything else very beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is uh Rebix is definitely a cost and area and instructions main. Yeah. Well, it's funny, if you ask Rebix, they're not an area main, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah. And it's also very nice for cycles, too, that these glyphs have access with two different arms. Like, this bonder is... The arm 2 has access to this side, arm 1 has access to this side. So they can sort of trade off. Um, arm 2 leaves something there, and then arm 1 grabs it by bonding to it. Uh, arm 3 debonds something, and arm 2 grabs it, that kind of stuff. I appreciate that all the fire is in the middle. And not like one of the ends. Yeah. That would have been awful. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The layout. It's I guess yeah, it's kind of random that it ended up like that, but it's good that it's that <laughs> way. Otherwise calcifier would be a massive pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Reb Rebix in the notes was completely correct about the um the iron suppression being very clutch, because otherwise there is no debonding. And yeah. yeah, it's very important you get the debonder there. Mm-hmm. 74, 74, 74, did, 74. Did Fiesta, did Fiesta get it? So Fiesta yes, he did. with the 74. Oh my god, triangle track. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you can see where this is going. So this square I of see. area, which... There it is. Yeah, it's, you know, the dot 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 versus this, it's, you know, it's the same either way kind of except this but one you, you can solve put a calcifier, the calcifier there. problem yeah <laughs> and it does also oh, saves the, and, and it also saves the bonder it does both mm -hmm. <laughs> yes it was right all along it does <laughs> save one hex <laughs> and yeah uh five arms on this one. Oh, holy shit! oh yeah because arm one is on a single track yeah yeah so it can do all that work um so yeah there's a note here <laughs> Uh, there are some dark corners of this crazy universe where adding arms and glyphs saves area, and it seems this puzzle is one such. After building a stake in the ground 79, I submitted a solid 78 uh, area plus 1400 cycle machine that only contained the rightmost mechanisms. As most polymer solves do, it advanced the growing product by sliding. I was fairly pleased with it. Noticing that the secondary metric was cycles and not cost, I casually added bonders and arms in the empty areas of the product silhouette to reduce the burden on arm 1 and advance monomers more quickly down the chain only to realize that half those arms weren't even necessary, and the hexes they occupied could go fully unused. So 78... Yes, took the cat's fin mm -hmm. trick further. Uh, so 78 area became 75, then 74, by adding more machinery and cutting cycles by 36%. Consummately logical. What a world we live in. Indeed. It's interesting how people find out about, like, sparse infinite tech without, like, knowing, just knowing it from people, from other people talking about it. Well, yeah, because there's not really been a puzzle like this in... Yeah, like in any tournament setting ever. Mm -hmm. Or like any journal or like any puzzle uh -huh. that wasn't specifically designed for this purpose. I've only heard Shadow Cluster talk about it and Halt and like him mentioning the important part that you can fit arms inside. <laughs> right, yeah, it takes a lot more conceptualizing, right? Because you do have to start from scratch a bit more. Uh -huh. than, but the fact that the secondary like... is... Uh, cycles but a lot of people like looked at it and went like hmm yeah like that's how fiesta found it because yeah, the yeah. secondary was cycles trying to do secondary optimization and then like wait a minute i've also optimized I'm the how they found out how to do the calcifying <laughs> calcifying trick <laughs> that's funny yeah and it's cool that uh i forget who it was who f did it earlier um mr puzzle yeah mr puzzle he did right. it first yeah but it was cool to see, like, a, uh, what do you call it, teaser. It's cool. To, I think, it, I like how, like, we just see, like, these gradually come in, and then we get the final solve that compiles every single tech we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for middle construction, that was unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. A question I have is, um, does that dot 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 hex ever get swung over? Or does Probably it just not. kill the never being touched? Maybe, maybe the triple fire swings over it, like, during, like, intermediaries, but, uh... 
It seems like a useful place to have. It doesn't seem easy to access at all though, so maybe not. It's just there. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Which is an interesting consideration. Yeah. Because that's why I would naturally touched. presume that that's why I naturally presume the used. building attack would huh. all the cartelli is used. Oh. That's hmm. interesting. Oh yeah, I, I guess it has to be used. Damn, if only the thing went up. <laughs> <laughs> 73. <laughs> Wait, why does it say 70? Oh, wait, because you restarted it and Grotelli isn't used? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks The Grotelli gets used at the very end. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's you have to slide I mean, it that it's way. it's 70. So, yeah. It's, it's like, no, I know, I know. I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there goes Shadow Clutcher's goal of never being beat by, uh, <laughs> All right, well, well, area well, I guess primary I on a to... scoring puzzle. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to give the area crown to Shadow Cluster, but I do have to give it to Fiesta. Yeah. Definitely. Also, Shadow Cluster said one of his goals was not to be beat by area primary. He's not gotten area primary for both puzzles. <laughs> this and Endgame. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got one more chance. Yeah. But he did say he's busy, so... That makes sense. Yeah, and I mean that is that is very spent, true. He spent forty hours to find the layout for Film Crystal main area. So yeah, and I mean I think time it's matters just, a lot. <laughs> also, it's just like I don't know. People are good. People are, people are good. Got, yeah, have gotten pretty good at the funny marble game. Could funny you imagine? Game. <laughs> imagine being good at the marble game. <laughs> also, I like the name. The very alchemic caterpillar. Uh -huh. caterpillar. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one gained more uh, squiggles on it as the submissions went on. Notice some people what? doing these sort of things. Like as uh, throughout the week, the puzzle has the same <laughs> name, but like some aspect of it gets longer. Like in this case, there were more squiggles as the there were like different revisions of it. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> congrats to everyone on area. Very cool week. Um, lots of cool tech. Very and, cool uh, area puzzle. Thanks, yeah. Panic. Yeah, no problem. Even though so many people complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cool area puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it worked out. And I'm sure that uh, I do actually, I like, I definitely do have to give a shout out to Shadow Cluster 2 for putting so much work into playtesting it. And if it weren't mm -hmm. good, he would have said something and it would have been changed to be yeah, good. Yeah, so. it was good. It was, yeah. it was a great puzzle. So definitely, yeah, thanks to Shadow Cluster there. All right, cool. So, oh yeah, let me switch out my auto hotkey thing for some four. Some four, let's go. And let me just. Page... So, Fox, did you end up submitting for some four? Some four? I did, but I'm probably gonna be like nice, nice. 35th. I'm probably gonna be like thirty fifth place or something. Thirty. Mm, thirty fifth is like fifth to last. Probably better than that. Nah, because we're getting like forty five submitters for some, I think. Yeah, it's if about that right. much. Starting at yeah, forty four. Yeah, but like we start with in the thousands usually. <laughs> yeah, I assume you have better than thousands. <laughs> I do, but yeah. So yeah, so I guess talking about sum four a bit. Uh, the definition of sum four is cost plus cycles plus area plus instructions, which is the number of inst filled instruction things you can see on here. Um, in this case, yeah, 101 instructions. You should be able to see on stream what the instruction count is, even though the game doesn't show it. So yeah, the reason that I chose sum four um, is because I wanted to have two sum puzzles, but I don't really like it when these polymer puzzles get scripted out to the end. It seems like kind of messy somehow. So I was like, why not sum four? Because then that'll encourage um, sort of looping solves that output one piece at a time. So I missed the... Uh, some is the go-to when you don't know what the second metric is. <laughs> <laughs> From experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in this case, it, it My was... My beloved. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it was kind of like that, and also just like, yeah, I think it would be cool to have two sum puzzles, because there's some sum fans out there, and mm -hmm. got to give them Every once in a while, you get a very cool sum puzzle, though, that like is just 
perfect for some. Mm -hmm. Like what Zorfax likes to call fart gas. Uh -huh. <laughs> what I like to call what? What did I call it? <laughs> fart gas or something. Vaporized propellant. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a cool sum puzzle. That was. So I think no, we, that, yeah, we already looked like, at this one. Sorry. Uh, oh, I'm just, I, I, yeah, this is the same solve we looked at before, so. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think this one's new, though. Started out as an area solve, and now it's not. 600 costs. Is this Steven? No. Wow, look at this. It makes like a full molecule with three things in it. Breaks it apart. <laughs> Taking breaking very literally. Mm hmm. Yeah, I will say for as far as puzzle design goes, designing a decent sum puzzle is pretty easy. Designing a really good sum puzzle, that's where it gets hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think like the fun part about the fun sum puzzles are where you have like s different choices that all seem very much viable. Yeah. Yeah. Last one I can think of was um, last year's week because we had Lustrous Syrup, which Haxton and I specifically designed for some, and mm -hmm. that took like. Yeah. Yeah, two, yeah, two of us inputs. a lot of designing, and yeah. Looking at the inputs, it very much looks like it was designed for some. With yeah. The choices between animismus or not, and et cetera. Uh huh. And I think some four in particular, uh, like to make a really good some four puzzle, there has to be some question about, oh, can I do this in like less than one output per track loop, or uh, tape loop, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know about this puzzle. I think some four for here is just like, it kind of acts like a second instruction secondary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> At least from what I've, like from my own solve. Yeah, yeah. 857, that's a lot of track. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, because there's some puzzles that's like, with some puzzles, it's a lot like the more things you have to do to solve the puzzle, the more chances you get to merge actions with arms. Yeah. Using creative geometry or creative multi arms. And that's when some yeah. starts looking really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, Goodbye Galaxy's favorite. Like Goodbye Galaxy is talking about he likes some solves that have lots to do. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I fully some agree with him. I think that. Like the hard, some of the hardest puzzles in the journal and the campaign stuff. Oh, chemical are slag. Great, <laughs> are, they're awesome. Some puzzles, refined bronze, like refined geez, bronze, and, alchemical slag, like universal um, solvent. Yeah. Like, like those yeah. are some of the best. Honestly, some of the best some puzzles. Because mm -hmm. they're very complex. Blame quintessence, basically all. Of, well, I mean, refined bronze doesn't have quintessence, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if I uh, were to choose a second metric for this puzzle again, I would probably, I think I already said this, but do something rate-based, like uh, yeah, yeah. like RI maybe could be interesting. Um, I like, I don't mind some four. Yeah. Some it's... is a decent go-to. Uh-huh. Like... I thought it was pretty decent in the hour I spent. On... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's nice as a I second mean... metric because you can kind of like, Put your stuff down where you want, and then optimize it, and see where you get. Yeah, I mean, fuck animismus, but yeah, it's decent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, animismus in some is often. Oh wait, this is a. That looks like an area solve. Yeah, it's an area solve. There, looked at. Yeah, so my prediction is that this is, as Hallie Jasper mentions in chat, this is going to be a very track-heavy sum metric, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. polymers are always I mean, kind of just track the heavy, fact that you have to pull it left or right words. The note here says, honestly, more of a casual solve than a sum solve has some fun near miss swings. So, like, I think, like, here. Actually, yeah, there's a couple cool near misses. Yeah. Mm hmm It's building these two sticks, I guess, is the um, algorithm here. But yeah, definitely a lot of arms. And I, I guess uh, some four kind of encourages fewer arms in general because uh, you more have to instructions. Yeah, pay double for more both more the instructions, cost and... Pay for, you have to pay for the grabs. Right. 
it like makes all of the cycles worse except cycles or all of the metrics worse except cycles yeah some points is better than it's a height solve wait no did, this is we've seen this did we look at the, oh yeah okay okay yeah we've seen this for area Uh, note here is this puzzle was way too hard, so I will make a casual solve. Turns out width doesn't train you for polymers. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> this one is cool because it makes this like V shape. Yeah. I've seen that one before. Like, if you have like forget the code, press U or I to see the width. Oh. Press press uh press the other one. Yeah, this is why. Polymers aren't included in width. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Width mains have nightmares about polymer puzzles. <laughs> I'm surprised it's even tracked. Sikitsuku has lots of good, like, quality of life things like this. It's great. All right, so this is actually uh, our first tie. <laughs> Between RPO and uh, Ooh, Jason. Tie in 36. I didn't even notice it was 36. <laughs> <laughs> what were the tiebreakers for some? There's no tiebreakers. Oh, there was no tiebreakers. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was no okay. tiebreakers, yeah. Panic yeah, doesn't with, like some tiebreakers. With tiebreaker tie break, tie would be dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, it's all, all the tiebreakers are kind of dumb, and there's usually not too many ties anyway. Like, I think there were only uh, maybe one or two ties yeah. on the uh, week one. So. One or two ties is acceptable. Yeah. yeah, the only thing I can think of is like when you're doing some three instruction tiebreaker isn't completely stupid, but no, I, I don't like it because it it makes it if you're making a six piece solve with some three and you have an instruction tiebreaker, then you're incentivized to make it not loop. So that's why I don't like it. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, big sum just wants to take the track industry down. So true. How I wonder how worth it is it to have two arms handling salt salting the animismus. Mm -hmm. Because it's fast, but it's expensive. Looping tiebreaker, yeah. Looping tie. <laughs> we already have instructions in the <laughs> metric. Uh, rate tiebreaker, maybe. Yeah. Rate tiebreaker. Period right. tiebreaker. That's, uh, that's not bad, <laughs> the, I suppose. The, the issue with period tiebreaker is the same as instructions. The issue with it is just, yeah, just like, it's the same thing with Psycho's tiebreaker. It's just, you already balanced everything in the main metric. Everything else is just like luck. Oh, I see what you mean. Some three loops instructions. That that, that could work, yeah. Uh, SLI. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But other than that, it I yeah I ve I struggle to think of an, a time when it's not dumb, mm -hmm. and for, yeah, just feels arbitrary. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looping is overrated. <laughs> SLI yeah S S L I C you could do slick. Slick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slick. Next up, we got a, some submission from Cuckoo Fifty Two. Got a big old track. Your flax. You beat your uh, prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm not 35th. Let's try and push for top 30. This one has this uh, calcifier here, so that these get naturally pulled over it, and then the fire gets swung over it, so it doesn't hit the fire. And yeah, it makes this sort of thing pretty simple construction method. Yeah, this looks like a solve the puzzle solve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then I wonder what this is for. Is this arm ever grabbing the iron? I don't. Is... <laughs> oh no, it's it is doing something. What is it doing? Oh, it grabs the V tail. Oh, uh, grabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There we go. Okay, never mind. I'm silly. I mean, I'm who could grab the VT, but that assumes Cuckoo Fifty Two could be bothered 
so <laughs> and it's probably it's... just easier on his brain to just put another 5g worth well of track and arm, arm two is arm. yeah yeah arm two is busy anyway so you might as well just have arm one do it since it's there it's right optimized yeah, it does save cycles actually yeah, That's yeah a good yeah. point um next up is parkley taxel looks like this started as an area solve or was an area solve and happened to be better on some four than a later area submission. So yeah, definitely area solve ish. The pistons, uh, just like in some three, pistons are typically not so good for some four. Just because forty G is a lot. If you imagine, you know, placing forty instructions, uh, or you know, twenty versus a normal arm. It's a pretty big deal. It's funny, uh, the thing I learned about Sum 4 um, during the weekend when I was busy doing a Sum 4 puzzle that was not this one, because mm -hmm. I'm distractible, um, <laughs> is, <laughs> is the trick, it doesn't turn up now, but it might turn up later, of having a multi-arm on a track, like grabbing and translating two different things at once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I Which is absolutely that, sure. not a very good idea for some because there's no cost save, there's no real cycle save, um, and it's arguably a bad idea for area, mm -hmm. but it's great for instruction saving. Mm -hmm. And if you can get the arms to mostly overlap other stuff, then the area doesn't really matter. Right, yeah. yeah I, I wonder if we'll see some stuff like that. I haven't actually looked through the all the Sum 4 solves, so... All right, next up we have Tulare, uh, 625. This can't possibly be good, but I needed to submit something that at least pretends to aim for the metric. Sum 4 on an enormous polymer like this is <laughs> diabolical. That's a lot of bonders. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, sorry, sorry, Cadspin, your 33rd place has been taken. Down. <laughs> there goes Cadspin's consistency. <laughs> Even though consistent from... as in she's doing better, suffering from success. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this first pivot and swing is really cool, uh, I think, that arm one is doing, where it pivots to take the fire off, and then it calcifies both at once, puts it onto the bonder, and then arm one is already in place to grab that fire and move it back onto this multi-bonder. And yeah, arm four is on a very long track. It seems like some track is uh, pretty much necessary here, just so that you can slide the output. Yeah, because uh, swinging the output is worse. Right. I must say, Arm 1 has fantastic feng shui. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad it takes up so much area. And needs two calcifiers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two calcifiers, two U-bonders, and then these two arms that swing it onto there. It's maybe not the most practical, but it definitely looks Yeah, this looks is pretty cool. glyph-heavy. Yeah. All right, next up we got a drop of three to whoop I'm enjoying these small drops, by the way. <laughs> I recognize the input. Very interesting pivot here on arm one. It's always cool to see a hex arm that's grabbing a molecule in two places end up doing a pivot. Yeah. From what I've heard of people saying, talking, mm -hmm. of, like, that arm input method is pretty popular. Mm -hmm. I can see why, because it gets both of them calcified, everything debonded. And debonded. Yeah, all with uh, just with, like, seven instructions. One arm here. and very few instructions, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was like the very first thing I spotted when I opened the puzzle to Same stop. thing. That was the best <laughs> thing I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this fire appearing on the iron input. I did a variation of that in my final solution. Nice. Since that Kylie Race is talking about how they saw it, they also saw it but didn't use it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I probably would have searched for something else if I had more, more than an hour. Uh-huh. It was very much <laughs> oh, a, I'm speed good. solving. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was like, I'm speed solving this. This is a pretty good idea. Perfectly good. I don't need to think about it anymore. Yeah. 
Good, good by Galaxy. I was also putting doing this... a, I was doing it last day as well. So <laughs> <laughs> good by Galaxy, <laughs> putting a stake in the ground that hex arms are overrated. Damn, I have multiple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop of eight to die a diode. Sum four is a very bizarre metric to me, since there is no obvious way to figure out what a good sum is without just testing a bunch of things. I spent some time optimizing this solution and called it quits. Perhaps if I had more experience with the game, I could better judge how far off min this is. 58 maybe? Let's go with that. My method of uh, judging where I should be approximately is checking the checking the leaderboards. For this puzzle in particular, I compared it to what what's it named? Swamp Fiber. Mm. It's a uh, animismus polymer. Yeah. I didn't think I'd have looked at Swarm Fiber Sum. Do you know what the min is for Sum Fiber? It's 600 something, it's not that good. I see. <laughs> <laughs> this probably already beats it, but that was my initial goal. Uh huh. But yeah, this hex arm is cool too. It's making this full shape because, yeah, like these C shapes you see in here are naturally hex arm shaped, so there's an argument that that's a good way to build it. I'm trying Another to think part. of puzzles. I'm trying to think of some records that I would have referenced if I got more time. Um, a thought I actually had was Assassin's Filament, which might mm -hmm. be a bit of an oddball choice. Yeah, but, but... Uh, that animismus wasn't, like, was provided. Right, no, I, it, it's not the animismus that worries me, if but I'm being the, perfectly honest. I could just, it's like, the crazy do the construction, yeah. It's the bonding patterns that I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, it was a really important consideration. That's what I would have spent most of my time worrying about instead of the animismus. Another thing I compare to is visionary anesthetics. Mm. Mm. For the animismus part, not for maybe. the polymer part. Yeah, maybe if you're worried about animismus. Yeah. Like, I compared it to... I compared the numbers to that, to mm -hmm. CF, like... To give me, like, a sense of <laughs> yeah. comfort on how well I'm doing. <laughs> And it's, I, I feel like the there's like that sum feeling you get when there's like a good sum, and it's you don't get yeah. it as much on polymer puzzles, and also sum four can be confusing, so. Yeah. Because the numbers are different than what we're used to. Yeah. Uh, so let's... I just browse the leaderboard for an approximate, like, idea of what numbers are like. Uh-huh. Okay, so next up we have a one drop. Lots of small drops oh, here. Yeah, keep nice. them coming. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Hex arms are overrated. <laughs> really? Yeah, this one's got a well, pivot and a swing right. here to calcify, so one calcifier. Yeah, I think I uh, maybe I'm talking a bit out of my ass here, but from what I can gather, I don't think hex arm some puzzles and track heavy some puzzles mix very well. Mm -hmm. They don't. I think it's a bit of a one or the other kind of thing. Cause yeah, because they're both an investment, uh, right? And they, they both... give you different, right? They, they, they're similar yeah. levels of investment, and they both give you different benefits. And I think tracks a very important benefit to have here, and you don't want to invest in both track and hex, I guess. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I did only spend an hour on this puzzle, so <laughs> don't, don't take my word as gospel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like you're the sum guy. <laughs> We've got other some guys in chat, and Panic's quite a quite good at some himself. I mean, good by no, Galaxy's no, no. been good by Galaxy say, and has been saying uh, hex arms are overrated too. Mm. Hex arms are nice in some four because of low area. Yeah, hex um, arms are better for the metal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely seem to work well for it. Yeah. So here we have a sub six hundred from top of mass. Yo, sub six hundred. How many did we drop? Uh, 14. 14 or something? 14. That's a lot of arms. Yeah. Nine of them. I like uh, arm one. It's got like one big swing that Devon, Devon, Calcify drop into the Animismus. Mm. Nice big satisfying swing. This is the fastest sum for, yeah, 68 cycles is quite fast. Oh, down, yeah. It's able to pull the input at full speed with this arm one, uh, swinging back this way. Doesn't swing this oh. way because then it would take up like whatever seven more area. 
Yeah, it's Nero, I'm nine. I'm nine does not have a spare in a spare cycle. Oh, it's... I'm nine also doesn't have spare. Yeah. yeah. It's pushing the full distance and then backing up the full distance. I wonder if we'll get faster than this. Has not great appeared? Uh, not great has an appeared. Oh, had okay, yeah. Yeah, they, not great. Not great appeared. But it out Paritos it. Mm. Interesting. Did oh, oh yeah, I better in some big pasty. Is this use or facts? That's me. That's me. That sounds mm -hmm. like me. Yeah. All right, top thirty. I'll take it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Because your area was small pasty. Oh yeah, I um. <laughs> I just kept throwing arms on the board because I'm like, I don't have time yeah. to worry about saving costs. So this is definitely too expensive, but honestly, I'll I'll take it. I don't mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. That's an unfortunate V-take position. It is a bit unfortunate. Oh yeah, it has yeah. to get out of the way of the swings that are going to happen. So Because yeah, all the arms, you have to place this period override uh, to avoid the, that collision. Collisions suck. <laughs> but yeah, I guess a lot of people, a lot of people remarking how bad I did in chat. I spent an <laughs> hour on this, guys. <laughs> you can get a little easy on me. Goodbye, Galaxy is uh, making a tinkering arm. Three should be a fixed three length arm, I think. Uh, oh, you could be right. Oh. oh yeah, it ends up in a yeah. It does a bit, nah, nah, it does a bit too much work to be fixed, but I like, if I were to iterate on this, that'd be one of the things I would look at. Yeah, and like, put the instructions on other arms, uh, put the jobs there, there, to other arms. There's potential there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you I get was like... trying to cut arm five. Arm five's the one I'm pissed that exists. <laughs> I would have liked to cut that out. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I guess. Oh, loops kind of suck. Yeah, if you made arm five <laughs> grab the iron and then have arm three do the, uh, but then I guess yeah. it also has to do that pivot, so yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, combining arm 5 and 3 would have been nice. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Some. <laughs> Anyways. Somehow. Uh, drop of 2 to plus plus drop plus of two lol. Keep them coming. Ah, drop of 2. Yeah, oh. another another quite expensive. Uh, please, 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 lol. <laughs> solve. I think there's actually a pretty good spread of uh, expensive versus fast, but at this level, it's kind That's of That's always like, a good sign. Yeah, it's like, it's expensive, but it's not fast enough to justify the expense, I guess, um, to get in the very top. Oh yeah, Zorflex, now that yourself has come up, what's your prediction for, like, min sum? I don't think I've spent enough time on this puzzle to come up with uh -huh. a good prediction. Mm. Honest, like honestly, I'd probably need a bit longer with the puzzle before I had a decent prediction. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I think this solves also losing a bit to all this area that it's taking up. Um, not sure if there's an easier or like an easy way to not take up that area, but I, I, I think we might be going fi below five hundred for what it's worth. I'll mm. say that mm. much. Mm-hmm. Seems possible. Yeah. Next up, we have a pretty small drop of three to Nuachar. Dumb four. I'm hoping it doesn't go under 500, though. <laughs> this iron in the middle of everything is an interesting choice. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's uh, easy to access to both sides. Yeah. But it's sort of in the way. And yeah, this <laughs> one's. How many placements? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, sorry. I was just gonna make it. Oh no, no, I was just waxing on about if I had two hours instead of one, I wonder how many placements I would have saved. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. With the, all this pile up here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was I was just gonna say this one has even more cost than uh the ones that we've seen earlier. But it makes up for it in instructions, I think. Sixty three I is pretty low for what we've seen so far. It's a little bit hard that to is pretty low. intuit that the trade off. Oh, Catelli, oh, no shot. It's, cool. <laughs> it's oh, a off no. It's it's a postmodern Catelli. I guess the fact oh, that it's in just, it's I, I guess the that's fact it's in the upper right is a little bit uh, suspicious though. Yeah, like, it's just the <laughs> possession Catelli. <laughs> but I I don't know. It's 
Nah, that's 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 not right. That's that's a crime against. <laughs> there's Crattelli. a there's a perfect hole right there. Just look at cr- it. It's a crime telly. <laughs> <laughs> by Galaxy once again being the <laughs> post Critelli advocator. <laughs> like an angel looking up on high. Yeah, I, I I think that it's to say that Critelli always has to be in it's like... It's not that bad. A hole it's like this. I don't know. Not in the hole. <laughs> that Critelli is like... That Critelli is like, I was only pretending to be stupid. <laughs> there, I said it. In my opinion, this is the best Critelli spot. I would say the hole up there... No, Top it's it's that, it's, it's that, so that obvious. Hole, that Re- hole is like, screaming for a Crytel. It needs it. The reason I like this one is because it, it's like where the product is sitting right before it slides. That's uh, my argument for this spot. Anyways, it's the end of the pen handle. <laughs> Sometimes you do have to put Crytel in the hole. Perhaps it's a really good hole. <laughs> it is. I mean, I and I, it's I, also not blocked most of the time. <laughs> Unlike some, like a lot of holes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back with some salt. <laughs> yeah, we got a two anyway. two drop to a rational guy. Saved one some four by completely changing the design for minus forty G plus forty four cycles plus one A and minus six I. Got it. Mm-hmm. It happens sometimes. So that multi bond does chew away the area count, but it looks really nice. Oh yeah, that's a. That's yeah, a lot of area. It lets you make all the bonds <laughs> sort of continuously like that. Save cycles, but that's a lot of area. Mm-hmm. And quite low this instructions, too. Yeah. 57 instructions. I think because of the, the multi-bonder lets you save some manipulation, you can just slide it easily. Yeah. There's a lot of tracks still, though. I know it's only four arms, though, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of uh, cool that uh, Irrational guy was, guy was able to place this well with this technique that slides the whole thing up and down. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, just, I guess the polymer isn't that long to worry about mm-hmm. it. And it's not like we're swinging the thing. Mm-hmm. It's at most like 20 more area, I think. Mm-hmm. That's an easy shave to do. Alright, we got 14 drop here. New solution one. Oh, copy, no, copy, 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 copy. <laughs> <laughs> Might barely scrape top twenty. Immediately appears. <laughs> I, I, I definitely probably would have not beaten this even if I had another hour. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you would have been like twenty fifth. Maybe yeah. So yeah, only four arms here, and the solution seems pretty balanced. Yeah. It does, they're pretty filled out. Um, I guess it does have a pretty good amount of bonders and track and such, but... Uh... That is definitely one of the new solution ones of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new very... solution one, copy, 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 copy. <laughs> very classic name. Nerd. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's got this Penta track, and it's got Arm 4 doing a lot of stuff um, on that track. Which means Arm 1 has to wait. Like, this this mechanism could be running faster if uh, Arm 4 were able to get back to pick up that salt sooner. And it does, yes, it has the whole Cortelli, yes. Nice whole Cortelli. But yeah, definitely good stuff. And now we have a drop of three. Keep the small drops coming, please. Name void. Feels improvable, but it's a solve. <laughs> this one is one of the cheaper ones we've seen recently. It has Every this... copy is a sum improvement. Hello Jasper made 11 sum improvements. Mm. Oh, arm four can't do stuff earlier because it has to wait until the fire stick is created. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one has an interesting technique for calcifying where it uh, grabs and then moves it like that. 
And it's also sort of flowing along the solution like this in terms of the uh, pipeline that's using to make the product. But yeah, only four arms, not too much track. Um, this like three track is kind of, I feel like the motif that you'll see a lot because you have to move it a total of, um, I guess it's four hexes. So if you move it twice like this, then you are able to move it the, or wait, no. How far do you have to move it? One, two, one, <laughs> two, three, four. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Yeah. Plus this is only like, this is moving every like, three atoms, so it's kind of a smaller distance. Right, yeah. It's it... definitely... Sorry. Hmm? I don't know, go ahead. Oh, um, it's definitely design constraint, the fact that you have to translate it four hexes every every product you make. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it kind of means you have to have an arm like this on track. Yeah, exactly. It kind of mandates like an arm four on a track, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. One of the translates along the track is to attach the elbow rather than push the polymer. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it p uh, pivots the elbow and it ends up here, and then it moves it. Yeah. yeah. Also, we got another Angel Cortelli. <laughs> Where oh, is it? We're huh? calling it now. Top, uh, top right. That doesn't look really great. Right. <laughs> It does. It doesn't look as great, but uh, I'm calling it Angel Cortelli now. <laughs> nah, that one doesn't look deliberate. I'll give username void a pass for that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we have a pretty bigger drop of 14. Low effort sum no. solve. Oh, from oh, winter. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jade is dropping pretty <laughs> quick now. <laughs> uh, similar biorm tech here. Yeah, this one has 59 instructions, so... Well, that's not... It's quite little instructions. Yeah. Um, these multi-arms, I feel like, are effective in some form, not just because they can grab multiple things, but also because they don't have to reset, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a benefit to that. That's the main thing I liked about uh, multi-arms, they don't have to reset. Uh-huh. For two genius for two is like drop slower. Oh yeah. Yeah, give me the one or two and ties. <laughs> but yeah, and we're definitely seeing it played out that the tracks are bigger than the multi arms so far. Alright, we got a four drop to Nova. <laughs> who correctly identified that it would drop slower. <laughs> uh, sadly didn't have time for Opus Magnum for most of the week, but I put a couple of hours in last minute to at least have something. I'm very curious to see how low both metrics go. I feel like I'm next. But yeah, Cretelli uh, in the hole. For you whole Cretelli likers out there. Wholesome. <laughs> Quite. Wholesome. Uh, arm one doing something kind of cool to deconstruct everything, where it calcifies this one, pivots. Um, oh yeah, that's a cool. It, yeah, right. It pivots, it swings, and then it pivots back, and then it swings back, so that both of the salt can end up on the same place, and arm two can handle both of them. But yeah, definitely on the more expensive side with six arms, but uh, it's able to do reasonably do things reasonably fast and reasonably compact. Now we got another four drop. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. This multi arm to bond to the iron is very interesting. So arm four is the only arm that yeah. grabs iron, but it puts all of the things that iron needs to bond to on this six arm and then just spins it around and lets arm four bond things to it. Yeah, that's a nice construction. Yeah. And also this pivot bonds it right to where it needs to go and then arm three can bond it here. So lots of the arms are definitely doing different tasks nicely. Um, 
seems like this one loses a bit on area just because of like this arm is like look at all this area this arm is using just to um, yeah because it's because it has to swing this over and then it's also using the same arm to do the pushing which takes up you know like nine more area which I guess is I more have space from the other side yeah or putting another arm on the other side would have used more other stuff than that nine area would save yeah all right, I'm probably next. <laughs> uh, indeed, drop by one. Multi arms are nice. Oh, here we, here's the multi arm solve. Yeah. Interesting construction idea. Yeah. It's just whatever I came up with. But yeah, that's pretty. That there's the multi arm doing the pivot. Um, yeah. And yeah, arm two is handling both of the salts and also this fire. Mm -hmm. And then arm three is doing, th I remember this from uh, week one, <laughs> this idea of building this C shape by having a hex arm spin <laughs> and then do a pivot there. Yeah. And arm four also delivers the Morse uh -huh. while putting it in place. It's a lot of like, overlapped work, but it's just not that good of a... I bet somebody Alparitos this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, like, once you get down to this, like, 500-something level, there's a lot of different, like, some, like, different uh, solutions save things over different other solutions in, like, there's weird ways. too many so. gaps in the instructions. Yeah, it's hard you to know. do with, like, less arms, but, like, more full arms. Yeah, maybe. Although some for sometimes having arms that don't do very much is okay because it's like less instructions, it can be hard to know. I assume this is beaten by like say a forearm solve forearm solve that does everything much more efficiently with a lot more track and like arms that aren't hex arms. <laughs> yeah, we go down to five thirty one. This is a very fast solve from Zandorf. Oh, that is fast. I I love in the V. Yeah. V Critelli. <laughs> <laughs> and the way it uh, just dodges arm six here as it's swinging past. Very slick. Oh. But yeah, pretty good amount of area on this one too. But quite low cycles, I would say, which lets yeah, get away other with a than it's, cost. Other than its cost to cycles ratio, there's really not much wrong with this one. Mm -hmm. And has these three single arms uh, are kind of cool that they don't need any track or anything like that. They can just do their work. Yeah, the, the fact that this only comes in 18th, it's kind of telling me that. Fewer than six arms is probably the play for the top solves. Mm. Yeah, seems so. Now we Four have five. drop of one to Biggie Mac. Something oh, resembling some lore. Drop. <laughs> I think this was his initial solve and... Just locally optimized. Wow, yeah. it's kind of... It's slow. It's uh, on the slow <laughs> side, but it's very cheap. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's uh, doing this thing where it pivots and swings past. Sort of similar to what the hex arm is doing, but using a pivot first to get it into position. Biggie's some solves are usually more aggressive on the cycle count. This is surprisingly restrained from Biggie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah, can talk about how he felt like it wasn't his solve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, very, uh, can see why. very cheap. And, <laughs> Not very biggie of you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like it's got the balanced cycles and costs. I feel like if this were a, just a normal sum solve, it would feel pretty good. I don't know. Yeah. I'm curious to see constructions that are less than 1p. Mm -hmm. 
So now uh, we see, have a... Seems like something Mr. Puzzle would do. <laughs> Drop of one. Is... Oh, it looks like an area solve with all the equilibrium buttons. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got all the equilibriums. Oh, I do like those pivots. It's a long ass track. Yeah, see how it's spinning like a pinwheel. Yeah. Fire steel gun blade. Mm hmm. It's a fast solve. And yeah, it's got that hex arm. But yeah, arm 5 is doing not too many things. But I guess it's not also not using too much area. This is a pretty compact some self. Mm -hmm. Does it waste an area with EQ at the end? Uh, no, I think it's sliding back and forth. Like, if you watch it, uh, you can see it slide there, and then uh, it has yeah. to slide back to validate. So, yeah, wheels. Uh... Wait, oh yeah. Next up is mm -hmm. a tie, apparently. Oh. Ooh. Uh, first one from Catspin. Oh, four K place, Catspin. Nice. <laughs> when I really gave some four a solid go the first time, I was building the monomers two atoms at a time. This got me some relatively fast inputs, but construction was convoluted. It either took a long time or was expensive with arms on both sides of the polymer to get everything in place. Not really ideal either way. Eventually, I took the clo a closer very... look and noticed building the polymer would be relatively simple with sticks of three. That's a very nice bonder setup. Yeah. It is simple I do... with sticks of three. I do remember when we were doing the first area solves, there was like a certain bonder setup that people said would be a motif, and I think it was this one. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, as the soon as someone mentioned setups are the, important. The, as soon as someone mentioned the double stick bonding like thing, um, my mind immediately went into something like this as a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this could be a common motif. It's, yeah. a, very, it's a very cool idea. It yeah, looks it's, like it's going to be used a lot class, because yeah. it's very simple. Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, she it's also says, three arms. I really feel like I learned how to discard approaches and pick up new ones. I don't think I would have caught on to the stick method if I were shown this puzzle two weeks ago. So I should That's have cool. like, considered the stick method, but uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely... It's it's also kind of heightish, <laughs> four height. Um, uh, other question is is this is there an even better way or is this gonna be like method? Mm -hmm. Not sure. I might there might be better ways. So this one actually has the same instructions uh, and also has the same sum four. Oh, uh, that's very my different technique. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got the exact same hex arm going on. <laughs> Wait, no, is it cheaper or is it faster? Uh, it's less instructions for sure. Uh, let, me, let me check. How far away is yours? Yeah, it's faster. And I think a little cheaper too. Just slightly better in every way, you know. Yeah, you know. Does it upgrade <laughs> on me? Uh, I don't know. I, I, not sure. Not sure. Okay. The problem with using a monomer different from the one the output uses is that you need to build an additional one before it validates. Oh yeah, right, true. Yeah, because the stick method, you are you need to build one more because it doesn't quite match. Right, so it costs you area and cycles. So that's, that's those are points against it. Mm -hmm. And doing a one-off thing is difficult in some form, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, here we go. So another drop All of right. one. Tweedledee. Make a potentially bold prediction. I don't think we're going to see fractional P. Hmm. Uh, this puzzle doesn't lend itself to fractional P, but I know no, that people what... are going to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my that was my thought. Mr. Puzzle comes to mind as the fractional P person. Mm-hmm. Mr. Puzzle comes to mind as someone who might win. That too. Potentially with the fractional P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the way this uses a triarm is super cool, how it like puts everything except this final uh, iron in the right place, and then uses the triarm to bond it, and then move it into the place to get slid over. Fraction OP does viable, is sort of viable. The iron alternates with the salt likes. Yeah. If I had thought more about some four, I might have uh, tweaked the input to make it more viable, perhaps, but well. <laughs> uh, next up, we have an eight drop to Pizzazz. Ooh. With a slightly different hex arm technique where it builds it in pieces of three using the hex arm. And yeah, this one is very low instructions, 53 instructions. Yeah. And it's also interesting to note, like, in some three, if you have nearly empty instruction tapes, it's usually a bad sign. But in some four, it is uh, surprisingly works out a lot of times if you have arms that aren't doing very much. That's a good point. I agree with Fiesta. Arm four is very nice here. Yeah. yeah. With its position over the VT up at there and the iron. And yeah, arm 2 exists solely to move this salt here, that's all it does. And then uh. arm, arm 3 exists solely to move this moors here, that's all it does. <laughs> Imagine combining those. Yeah. Whoa. Get under 500 if you could do that. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, combining those will require a track, so not yet, not just, but... Oh, no, if you assume no additional yeah. cost at all. Okay, so this is a play text, play test solve from Haxton. I began at 572 and improved it down to 515, only to be beaten by Redacted's day one solve. Uh, for what it's worth, Dick. here's my progression. And here's a imager link I'll post. Yeah, this is very cheap. Is mm -hmm. this this but might be the cheapest one off. yet? Uh, maybe. I think there is. Is it? One sixty-five. Yeah. Yeah, Catspins was one seventy. Biggies was one eighty. Yeah, this is quite cheap. And yeah, the diamond track loop here is very good. Mm-hmm. And the Critelli in the hole. And also everything is doing, like, the instruction tape is pretty full. Yeah, only like three missing instructions. Definitely feels Four. like a solid solve. Four? One more on the top left. Oh, good good catch. I wonder if this will be the best three-arm solve. Yeah, maybe. The cycle... I think we've seen the best six-arm solve already. I wonder if this is the best three-arm solve. Mm-hmm. I'm more, I'm curious as to whether four arms or five arms is going to win. Mm -hmm. It's very unclear. This is four arms. Mm -hmm. That's a long ass track. <laughs> yeah, the bobby <laughs> pin track. This one's pretty fast though for its cost. Yeah, and low oh, instructions. Fifty-eight I. <laughs> I can tell from the fact that that arm is arm one. I can tell that this solve was based on that. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, Arm 1 and Arm 4 are like the MVPs here. They're both doing so much work. Because Arm 2 and Arm 3 really are only delivering the stuff uh, and also the s'mores, but everything else Arm 1 is doing. And the uh, cycles and area match here. Very cool. Love to say oh. it. <laughs> nice. Also, wait, where's the Cretelli? Gone. <laughs> Is it like underneath? Do you still something? have Cortelli centering? Uh <laughs> there it is. There it is. What? <laughs> <We're all left. laughs> I like the noise that it makes too. Very good. <laughs> uh but yeah. Wait. 
reject telly. <laughs> Angry whack. <laughs> I don't have a rubber Don't ducky it. on me. You just have to imagine it. Well, <laughs> all the arms are working except arm four, though its single task is crucial. Lots of pivoting going on here, similar to that gunblade solve. Uh, arm four. Unfortunate. I assume that single arm saved some by adding it in. Mm -hmm. And not having arm one do it. Yeah, everything else is too busy. Did, wait, did I already read the note for this one? Maybe. Um, <laughs> I think you did. All the arms are, arm are working hard except arm four, though its single task is crucial, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, you're okay. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is remind me of, uh, what's its name? Active Polymerase? Hmm. With the single ah. wander there doing all the work with the pivots around it, even though it's not as fast as one per cycle, but uh, it's reminiscent. That's a good point. That's a good point. But yeah, it's some interesting track shapes here too. This sort of J shape. Or... Redstone paradox calling arm four dumb. I like the <laughs> sash. <laughs> don't, don't be arm four. Stay in school. <laughs> All right, next we got a drop of three to Revix. IDK, how to sum four. Well, it's top well, 10. There's that. We're way too close to 500 for us to not crack sub 500. Ooh, mm -hmm. apparently this method gets better. <laughs> <laughs> if you build it from the other direction. Mmm. <laughs> that makes sense, attaching Morse first. Yeah. Yeah, some pretty good shared work between arms here. Nothing too high compared to the other saws. Yeah, another strong diamond track here. We're seeing a few strong diamond tracks here. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense with Animismus, honestly. Yeah, the diamond track for Animismus and this hex arm making the C shapes for the output both seem like good motifs. Which kind of makes me kick myself a bit, because diamond tracks and some solves are kind of my jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up we have Mr. Puzzle with You Must Construct Additional Pylons. Nice. And we have a uh, no, multi here. Yeah. Additional yeah. nylon. Oh, nylons. Uh. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> yeah, I thought this multi um sorry, the multi bonder idea definitely had potential. It's being put to great effect here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Irrational Guy was doing something similar, but moving the entire product up and down. I do like how surprisingly area efficient it is to make that particular swing because you're swinging it over the um the output glyph. Oh yeah. yeah, and the dot dot dot. Yeah, which is why this has a surprisingly competitive 110 area. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And yeah, you put the iron on first, so. But yeah, uh, if you're paying attention to the. Ranking number, that was number seven. This is also number seven. Nice. At 504. Oh! <laughs> this one is titled Uninspired Orkanda. Last Minute Solve. Nice. Last Minute Solve. <laughs> Your seventh place, Laura. <laughs> this one has some tech that reminds me a little bit of Aria with these bonders in the output here. <laughs> it's, it's a nice, easy way to save Aria. Mm-hmm. And yeah, 62i is pretty low instructions. I guess uh, four arms helps with that. Three hours before the dead, I finished one hour before dead <laughs> down. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, it, it did uh, start from the area. I gave myself three hours faster. instead of one. I would have been, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, this Morricon only took two hours. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but giving yourself the third hour is important because you don't rush yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a... But yeah, the axis on arm three is cool, how it's able to get to both of these bonders where the iron needs to be. So it's the only thing that has to touch the iron. You always love seeing access tricks like that in mm -hmm. some souls. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to have any uh, track or anything. Yeah, because access tricks like that, it's a, it, it is a great way for you to kind of spread the work between different arms, mm -hmm. which makes everything fit together nicely. It's it, And it reduces your cycle count without increasing cost. So, right. yeah, access tricks like that are always really good things to look for when you're sum optimizing. Definitely. Also, before we move on, um, interesting point. In area, um, from what I understand, Kelly Reese is caught up on Pentapig's lead. So Pentapig made the prediction that whoever scores higher between Kelly Reese and Pentapig walks away with the lead. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Well, Pentapig wins this. Speak of the devil. Number six, we have some three from <laughs> looping from Pentapig. Oh, boy. Oh, well, we jumped to 501. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're getting very close to the big Somebody's 500. Somebody's walking away with a win today. <laughs> with a lead today. That's not Pentapig, maybe. So yeah, this one is pretty area efficient. Um, though it does overbuild mm -hmm. by two here. And yeah, it's using yeah, the stick the method. Problem with yeah. The stick. So yeah, this is a very efficient stick method. Wrong monomer, just too costly. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. See, these top solves, we're seeing a lot of variety in the way the mo the polymer's actually being built, which was why when I remarked earlier, I would have focused on building the polymer. Yeah. I wouldn't have worried so much about the animismus. This is the reason, because we're seeing a lot of different ideas but, here. Like, nothing of this shape, mm -hmm. except for, say, uh, the two hexagon polymers. Yeah, and it seems like... somewhat similar. Yeah, as we're getting down to more and more optimized solves, uh, area matters a lot. I think. I think it's buoyant cable and what's the other one that's the same shape? Lubricating oh, cable or something? Yeah. Lubricating mm. filament, I think. Filament, yeah. Mm. Those two hex ones, especially one of them that has the tin, pa tin pattern like swerving back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, um, very Deluxe Thread might not have been the worst idea, which is fine because that's my sum record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we got a drop of one to the big 500. Hey! 500. Had two slightly different 500, and this is the one with a cooler shared track. Congrats on Aliorisis for taking the lead. <laughs> yeah. Three, three arms on a single track loop is pretty dope. Oh yeah, this is oh. wrong monomer as well. Also has the access. Um, much higher area, but lower instructions and quite fast. Very fast. Got five arms. Yeah, the five arms are actually yeah, cutting that, off here. Yeah, those the three the three arms on the track loop in particular probably is what cuts the cycle count down so much here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it really does seem like the arms on a track to feed the animismus and then a hex arm to build the output is uh yeah. working pretty well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to drop below 500 to 496 with Fiesta. Oh, wow, a four drop. As in week one, oh, the Fiesta's MVP... is also doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. The MVP of my solve is a hex arm that pivots. To be fair, the VTA hex arm also dropped 30-some when I found it, but it is just doing basic hex arm stuff. Also, as in week one, I fixed on it on, on this MVP the minute I found it. It remains to be seen if my fixation is warranted. Fun fact, the fire atoms are the only ones that never get grabbed, hence the solve title. Don't touch the fire. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because it's oh, sitting there, just, it just doesn't touch it. I just saw the pivot. That is a really that is a really neat yeah, pivot. Nice. Oh yeah, here. Swink. I might put that up for contention for pivot of the week. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's definitely pivot of the week material. It's yeah, it's got both the hex arm grabbing a product, it's got a like bond being made here to the grab product, which is then pivoted to be unbonded like wand style. Very cool. And yeah, 47 instructions on this one. That is an incredibly low instruction count. By far, our... Bit of a... 
Arm 5 is Sorry. doing the most work here with its moving and resetting. Bit of a comeback yeah. for the X-Arms here, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Goodbye Galaxy has it appeared, and he definitely does not have hexagons, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, one Arm 3 is just doing one thing. Oh, don't be like Arm 3, go to college. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fiesta. <laughs> All right, now we've got some surprisingly bigger drops. Uh, oh, yeah, to, to, long to say it. To number three, Calurisis. 487. 487. 87. Oh, damn. Mm. Yeah. So this one is very small in area uh, and pretty fast. Oh. It's called. Sun That's kind of the bit construction method, but there's cheeky yeah. pivoting happening. Yeah. It's doing, yeah, it's doing well, a pivot to avoid a regrab right. on arm five. Yeah, it's to avoid a regrab. Pretty similar to my arm four, huh? And then that is the thing about the best construction method. It's one bonder is doing all the work, and it's not yeah. that area intensive because the puzzle's already an area intensive puzzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, as this says, it's some three plus I. This seems like. The fact that it's more arms probably hurts it on some four, maybe more than it would on some three. Yeah. But like it's miles ahead of the other solves. I don't know, that's a low instruction count. How many instruction? 70. Mm, yeah. Kind of high, but uh. Fiesta's was in the 60s, wasn't it? And we remarked about how low that was. Mm, or am I misremembering? I think we were remark remarking the low ones were about like 50 something or 40 something. Yeah, like 60 is pretty low though. And the thing is like at this level, any shave you can get is good. So like I feel like 70s yeah. is kind of like normal and then 60s is good and 50s or 40s is like extremely good. Oh, this yeah. is six arms. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. I was wrong about the six arm. But they're already busy. They're all just really busy and there's only like six hexes of track total and... Four of them are like mandatory yeah. anyway. So, so other than the mandatory ones, you're getting practically no track, which is why you can justify six arms here. But yeah, no, mm -hmm. I was wrong about six arms. Mm -hmm. Very that's nice. a 220 cost. That's not expensive. Yeah, it's not. So now <clears throat> you've got another drop uh, to number two, Abinov. How much? Uh, 476. Yeah. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is really cheap. So yeah, uh, the, and small. the note is, dropped 32 points last hour, happy about that. The main thing is the insight... 32. That, yeah. The, <laughs> the main thing is that uh, the insight that Moore's is not called for right after Vitae, and thus it doesn't need to be accessible from Bonder. I could probably spend more time here if I started area earlier to see how regular backward build is. In some, building a polymer exactly isn't usually huge. You pay about 0.8 R in cycles, and a simpler build sequence can be worth that. But here the chain is so sparse, you also shave about 10 area on top of cycles. So yeah, this is going out of its way to build the proper monomer mm. um, and profiting from that because, yeah, the area is quite low and cost the is quite bit low too. That I, the bit that I like about this is um, the... So you, it's kind of building the each monomer in halves. you got the Vitae half and the Fire Moors half. It's the Fire Moors half being built that I really like about this. Yeah. Fire Moors heart part is difficult because it's got three different atoms. Right. Right. Yeah, it's like pivoting it away and then scooting the fire. And then the there. angle, and then the angle of the tracks works out perfectly to slide the polymer back yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And you're really only using two bonders the whole time. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, there is just only two bonders. <laughs> right, and it's not using like a hex arm like uh, a lot of the other yeah. ones. You had like a hex arm and then yeah. maybe another arm to do pivots. This one is just arm two pivoting. It, it's like so clean, and uh, like arm one is doing a pivot there too. Um, this is very nice. And yeah, it's just a bunch of little details. Yeah, and it's like it's not a, a, a diamond track; it's a triangle track. The it's truth, track. yeah, yeah. Don't need the triangle for this one. I mm -hmm. mean, diamond. And it can leave this fire here without dropping, and then just leave it because it can. It isn't actually needed until much later. Also, yeah, yeah, Mr. Puzzle, yeah, pointed that out in the chat. This is a very good observation. 
it is just nicely out of the way and the swings line up perfectly that you can just get yeah. it across uh -huh. and it doesn't even feel like a problem. Right. Like, yeah, it turns the problem of it's sitting there in the way into a boon, which is just leave it there for later and let one of the other arms come back and get it. Right, yeah, because it's on a, like, that hex of track needed to grab it is not one that you're otherwise bothering to use other uh -huh. than the start. So yeah, it kind of works out perfectly that way as well. Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice solve here. Level details. Congrats. Yeah, number two. And, uh... All right. <laughs> <laughs> the sub main is back. Yeah, we got a seven drop uh, to our first place solve. Calling. Goodbye, oh, Galaxy. So 71. Nice. <laughs> See, I think Goodbye Galaxy is even better at sum four than he is at sum three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's my take. He's actually done some... Oh, this is a similar construction method. Yeah, it does use this... It's just the other way around. Well, and it uses this two-linked <laughs> arm in a very cool way where it is able to move it, like, exactly here, like, through uh, all this stuff that's going clutch on. Clutch swing. Yeah. That is a very clutch swing. But yeah. It has to use a fire first, though, unlike the previous. Yeah, so but it, it also manages to save some track here because it's not sliding so far it's able to do that mm -hmm. swing yeah um i'm fine has this work to do so it can spare some track mm -hmm. well it's kind of allowed to use the fire adam early because of that clutch swing it's allowed to get away with that and have it bond first yeah yeah because yeah it just like, that's sits the there. other thing yeah that's the other thing the clutch swing does it yeah helps you shuffle the bonding order mm -hmm. to one that might be more convenient Also, another dime triangle track instead of diamond track. Mm -hmm. Triangle track seems to be the go-to. Very similar. Yeah, the yeah, track... Goodbye... <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yeah, so Goodbye Galaxy is saying how it's miraculous how arm 2 and 3 don't actually interfere with each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> I assume that's the purpose of most diamond tracks, <laughs> is that they can't get them to coordinate so well. Right, right. Yeah, usually triangle tracks feel a little too tight. We saw Ebenov cleverly get around the problem as well. Um, but yeah, here you kind of don't need access to all four Animismus hexes because Arm 1 can just drop the salts that it's been holding anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is quite convenient, and the bonds are kind of well-placed relative to the Animismus glyph. Yeah, and we've seen this motif before, but it, it works really well with the triangle track. Um mm. And yeah, very few, I guess, how many empty uh, instructions are there? One, two, and then seven, so nine empty instructions. I think fuck we don't have like metric, metric points now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that if we had metric absolutely points. absolutely awful. Yeah, it'd be something <laughs> of a bloodbath. Top three would be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um. But yeah, no, so this is pretty low instruction, 61i, quite low area at 106, uh, faster than 100 cycles, um, which is good, and the cost is like barely above 200, so very balanced solve given the ones we've seen before and kind of in yeah. it is inc incredibly well balanced. It's like maybe the cost, the other three look perfect. Yeah. So yeah, congrats. Uh, on this very nice solve. Is this the first Goodbye Galaxy win? Like, overall? I think? I don't remember I did... one in 2021. Nah, Goodbye Galaxy won um, oh, two Quintessential Stabilizer. Ah, yeah. right. Quint Stabilizer, yeah. Because I remember because he denied that. me the yeah, victory. <laughs> two wins in 2021, yeah. And, but, uh, um, a bit of a dry spell in 2022, <laughs> I think. I just noticed Arm 1, too, has to swing back the other way to avoid a swing collision, which mm -hmm. comes in very much handy because it has cycles to spare to right. get away with that. And it which does, really helps like, you through. Yeah, it does waste two instructions. Says... Oh, yeah, some for EJS, that's right. Yeah. And that was a pretty stacked... EJS is uh, a, was also a too. cool area puzzle yeah. with the... Uh, 
sort of trivial sum, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> Elemental Jill setting was the one where I probably I probably would have tied him for the victory if I didn't fuck up and use the other monoma. I mean, Regent. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I would have tied for, I think it was second place if I hadn't used a reset instruction oh. that accidentally used an extra hex of area. Uh, reset moment. <laughs> reset moment. Reset moment. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's do showcase. Not too many showcases this week. Um, I assume so. Yeah. I bet we're getting some hype though. Alright, so first up is Whoop, there it is, by Mr. Puzzle. A somewhat maybe you can see. see what's about to happen. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's a single cycle. Multiple <laughs> input. Not single cycle, but close enough. <laughs> and there we, Zero there you have it. Solved. Bio Let's go. <laughs> so see that again. Calcify, animismus, bond. Or I guess first is unbond because you can't uh, put things in yeah. the same cycle. You unbond, then, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's this is overlap, you know. Overlap trickery. Yeah. Psycho solve you. <laughs> <laughs> True psycho. Well, I'm surprised you rearranged all that and it still worked. Well, it's kind of sequential well, because they, it, they're kind of doing everything on different cycles, so it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like because it has to unbond, oh. uh, which can happen at any time in the cycle. Then it has to um, calcify and animismus. I think if the calcifier is on top, it will probably. Oh no! It's it bonds and no, uh, debonds and calcifies in the first at the same cycle. time as the debond. Yeah, yeah, and then animismus happens, and then bonded output. So right. So it, the order actually doesn't matter much. Yeah. Although yeah. I've rearranged it so now uh, these bonds, some of the bonds have, are happening on the uh, on the earlier cycle, like here, and then the last ones are happening there. But I think that's necessary. Not sure. Yeah, overlap with duplicated inputs gets super silly. Could you? Oh yeah, sure. Let me uh, hold on. Let me re reload it actually to get rid of my. There was much of a difference than <laughs> tapping through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like any like fancy swings are happening. It's just glyphs doing their thing. So wait, why doesn't it? Why isn't it outputting right now? I guess it is. Outputs at the end of the cycle, I guess. Oh no, wait, it does bop. So these bonds... Why doesn't it make those bonds? Is it because these, like... Hmm. Yeah, why doesn't it make those bonds? Because <laughs> it seems like it could output a cycle earlier, right? If those bonds were able to be made. Does it, like, mess up something else? Probably the animismus. It's probably because the animismus can't bond immediately after spawning. But like it can if the bonder is after. Right? But that's not much faster. The anime atoms appear at the end of the second half step? But I mean, they appear uh, when the anime glyph is in the order. So if you put the bonder after the anime, then um, it'll bond after they appear. So it should be possible to get two cycles here. But I'm not gonna tinker with overlap stuff on stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up is irrational guy. Um. With. Are we breaking? <laughs> I mean, I assume it's the same solve that uh, Bambi made, but adapted for this puzzle. Yeah. Irrational guy has made a few of his own. Yeah, it's a slight modification on the irrational rate face powder. Rational guy making irrational solves. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? That'll be the day. 
I feel like this is the first irrational polymer solution I've seen. That's a fair point. But yeah, I see. So the polynomial in the name, it's it's a root of that polynomial near 0.173. There we go. 849 cycles. Okay, stop. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it swings. <laughs> Yeah, quite Please a long... Please spare my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Please spare my computer, I... <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it, it, that's, it does have a small pause, because otherwise it wouldn't even read the input. It would just, like, go to infinity and yeah. then die. All right, next up we have... The elephant is coming for you. <laughs> Min Glyphs RG. So I think Raid is kind of cool for this so, puzzle, because... Yeah, because the oh, um, nice. iron is limiting, and yeah, you get these cool, you're like making one bond <laughs> per cycle. Oh, that looks so cool! Secret uh, cycles times bonder metric, <laughs> <laughs> or rate times bonder maybe. Yeah, it's like some kind of extrusion happening. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of where I wish I had a zoom tool installed. I can see why you wanted it to be right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I don't know. I the the there were some really cool right stuff in some forms. Right would be two animus glyphs because they're every three. Well, you no, I, I mean, would imagine you, no, because uh, this you only have to pull this every because three. Iron's, iron's limiting. Uh, there's yeah. oh, iron is limiting. Yeah, okay, limiting. never mind then. Is this right then? Yeah, this is right. This is Minglyph's uh, right. You can see the iron getting pulled every two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, iron's getting pulled every. Yeah, okay. This is Min right. This is just Min right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speed. Oh yeah, this is a speed solve. I see. Huh. At least username voids isn't scoring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's always a possibility. And I guess it does slow you down slightly to check the uh, the box for uh, showcase. So showcase, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's all the sh uh, showcase we have. So thanks oh, for submitting those. Surprisingly, no height slots. <laughs> well, I, I think those got I'm submitted as area. Yeah, speed is in yeah, speed run, not speed is in area. cycles. But yeah, that was uh, week four. Thanks for all your all solutions, right. and I guess we'll week look five, at five probe module. Yeah, we can oh look boy. at next next week's puzzle. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this is our <laughs> production puzzle. <laughs> I still haven't looked at it. <laughs> I uh, haven't either. <laughs> two products, one reagent, but which I've looked at it. got teased a bit in the lore. Although for some reason I. Drew it at the wrong angle, but whatever. <laughs> Triplex bond in a production puzzle is mm -hmm. usually pretty spicy. Yeah. Oh, oh and the Triplex bond Berlin. and Berlin. Oh, that is spicy. <laughs> and, We've uh, had three production puzzles in a row with Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and the metrics oh, for this Jasper. are cycles, um, which in production is much different than free space cycles it's much more it feels a lot like height cycles uh and that you're sort of trading off between latency and rate uh and not necessarily trying to reach a min but just trying to find the best space in that trade-off and then the second metric is something new which is period with a secondary of instructions so period is just uh, how long this instruction tape is so like in this case the solve would have a period of three because there's this little box is three long. Uh, yeah, the pig metric, <laughs> period instructions cost. Metric. And yeah, the secondary is instructions, so. And watch Penta Pig win the pig metric. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much like it. It's basically <laughs> instructions. <laughs> yeah, it's instructions. 
yeah, it's 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 basically production instruction like. So like that that's a real possibility. Because instructions is secondary, so right. Instructions is the secondary, so right, and it's I don't know. It feels a little bit like a trade off between instructions and cycles, because in cycles you're often trying to yeah, uh, period limited instructions. Yeah, Yeah. we're also on track to have our first pure projectionless tournament. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, where's our pure (laughs) projection? It's probably coming in cycles hell. (laughs) <laughs> no comment. Hoping... No comment. No comment. We'll no. we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, I'm expecting Anik, the next Anik has three hinted at be cycles hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting the next three puzzles to be pure rejection panic. Do you know how many puzzles there are left? There's three. Puzzle <laughs> six, puzzle seven, and computation. Mm-hmm. Pure rejection computation. It can be done. I don't yeah. know if. I don't know if computation will be pure rejection. But, uh... No, I, mean... I, I definitely. I remember the pure, the one pure um, computation puzzle I have solved was sent to me by RPO because he recommended it because it was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, pure rejection. That. Yeah, there was that, but I don't know if Panic is going to use that. But uh... we're probably not using uh, fire triplex con- computation again. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and then I, the other thing I guess I should say is that uh, there's going to be a break after this week um, to give we'll everyone a break this week instead. And <laughs> well, and also to give our uh, lovely probe a chance to go find uh, interesting things. All right. <laughs> and also, Panic knew it was my birthday next week, so that was yeah. very, that was very <laughs> considerate of you, Panic. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I think that about wraps it up uh, for week four. Uh, thanks to Biston Zorflex for joining me on commentary and everyone for submitting your solves. Yeah. And I'll see you no next problem. week. Thanks for having us. Thanks for the puzzle. It was a cool one. Oh yeah, no problem. Glad you liked it. <laughs>